I use terms correctly yes. to point out the times where I use terms incorrectly. Yes, you absolutely. See the problem with that? No, I don't. Because half the time with you, you don't know if you're right or wrong, and so you shouldn't be saying shit anyways. Oh, really? Really? Yeah. Oh, so geez. I shouldn't espouse things that I don't believe are true, or of which Whoops. I don't I know the veracity. You that? <laughs> However. <laughs> Yeah, you didn't see that argument coming, did you? <laughs> no, I totally did. I just, oh, okay. I just like pointing out hypocrisy when I see it, Ooh. you know? Not that I'm pointing out any particular hypocrisy at the yeah, moment. Uh, right, like your right. own when you talk to your friends about I quitting and shit. Sure. That'd be yeah. awesome. Uh -huh. Yes, I do point out my own hypocrisy quite often, in fact. Uh, I, I am very accepting of my own flaws, and I'll drink to that. Yep. Oh shit, I can drink to things too, except... No, I can't, because I'm out of fucking time! Uh, how long do we have before Chili gets here? Anyone want to take any bets? I, I don't- I wasn't actually Never. about her right now. Never? She was here literally an hour and a half ago. Yeah, she I, was I early until she wasn't. I called it! <laughs> I called it when she left, never to return. I called it. Okay, called do you guys it. think I have, uh, I have time to go grab a beer? Sure. Yes, you do. Considering we're still like, we need chili for this next part. I mean, unless you want me to just survive on my own in the Feywilds, my guy. Like, she didn't even give you her survival check this time. You can meet with uh, James. Oh yeah, true. All right, let me take a piss. Okay. Yeah. Luckily, it's only like a few minutes, but... Hey, you both look cute. You both look like a snack. So, mm, thank you. Oh, yeah, there's all a few... I'm gonna go get a beer. Do it. Um, so what he said was... I don't know exactly how much work we'll have... So, I gave you two so, magic items, and I put them in your inventory. One is the axe well, that I, I gave a name, and I magicked it up. And the other is your armor, which is the, the hide of the hunter. And you named him Yalpo. That's his good. Anyways, I gave you hide of the hunter, which you have survived, you have advantage to track him, whoever, mm -hmm. whoever it is. If their if their blood is on your armor, make sure you. That's cool. Be... Yeah, I thought that was kind of Viking-ish, right? If I have... So presumably you're hacking and slashing, and then they run away, and then, uh, or you can just collect vials of people's blood, and then. Whoa, 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 whoa! That, that's how that'll work. That's pretty cool. Vials of people's blood for what? Your you know what for his armor. I gave him a magic item or two. One is his axe, and the other one is his armor, which is the hide of the hunter, and he has advantage on tracking checks if if that person's blood is on his armor. Interesting. Yes. So fleeing adversaries like Decius would not have had a chance. And I was saying he could just keep vials of blood of his party members around, and he could just track them. My cousin just said the exact same uh, thing. Right. Well, I, I said I, it first. So anyway. Yep. Of course you did. Yep. <laughs> I was repeating it for Cyanide. Mm -hmm. In case you uh, want to go against him or they get kidnapped or something, you know, there's a lot of uses for that. <laughs> or I could just, fresh. or I could just, uh, I'm trying to remember exactly what he said. Put it in like a. But he um, basically told me that. Yeah. Oh, what's it called? Dude, tell him is the other guy that we work with. That like crime scene. I'm thinking way too hard about this. Crime scene. Okay. I don't know. Like a swab? Like, like a sanitary? Yeah, like a... Or, no, like if I have someone's... If I have someone's blood, then I put a... Like a drop of their blood, and they find the blood, and then boom, connected, boom. Uh, uh, yeah, there we go. You're welcome. Here's my ram. I'll be here all night. Forensics? Yes, that. Uh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Jeez, Uncle I might have to fix that so that it's at least relatively fresh and not like two weeks old, or at least like semi-liquid. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> Just be aware that it's there. Just be aware. 
Sure, sure. And I am that kind of uncle. Uh, so, Philly already knows what happened last week. I'm probably. And if he doesn't, I will have more friends. I show up for Christmas with goats and pigs. You go, children. Well, the fact. <laughs> we killed him for dinner. So, last week, the party got transported to the Feywild. They. Mm-hmm. came up. They were, based, they were transported to a fete. A festival. Okay party, if you will, that was all danced by a fae that they helped out in the mundane mm-hmm. world. Uh, there was a cloven tower that looked like it had been cut in, in half at an angle. It actually had a name for it, but nobody's asked or shown interest. Uh, so Themis immediately gave some instructions and then left to go and find a portal to get them back out of the Feywild. Which he didn't tell them, he just said that he was looking for a convergence, whatever yeah, the fuck that yes, is. No, not <laughs> quite the same. Uh, the party almost immediately did things they were not supposed to be doing. Uh, no, uh, they got really seduced by the dance music. They uh, got a magical charm item from a sprite, pixie, whatever it was. And uh, Robin got propositioned by a fae for a good time, but because he is engaged, yes, because he is engaged, he said no, and uh, she made a rain cloud appear over his head. So then Raugum decided to go, who plays, Raugum's played by Chili, decided to go into the forest to get a leaf to cover his head to keep him a little bit dry. And he did. He plucked a leaf off of a tree, and then the grass turned hostile and cut up all of him below the waist. Oh, burning him with that. Yeah. Yeah. So he's he's got some, like, strips of leather hanging from his (laughs) waist right now, because that's as high as the grass could reach. So he got all kinds of cut up, but he has his leaf, and he's holding it over his head like a big old banana leaf or a palm leaf or something. Oh, we're doing that. Uh, And then... They, the oh, magical oh, item they technically stole from, yeah, the, from yes. a sprite or pixie named Sibiri. Mm-hmm. And ah, then no. they immediately decided to bug out so much. of the party and that. find their way into the forest following vaguely the direction that they think <laughs> them as no, much. Just, keep on, pressing it. just keep on pressing it over and over as fast as you can. <sighs> it's so, so much fun. <laughs> The, they are uh, they are doing a lot of things wrong, but they haven't they haven't really accepted any gifts, just, and they haven't engaged in any sort of pacts or agreements, or they haven't asked any favors. All they did was, they had any, all they did was push some middling fay. It is so much that fun. Dude. And uh, I did that and like steel borrow, permanently borrow. An amulet. Because you know exactly how you would feel if somebody did that to you, so that's why it's fun. Any answer from Chili, or has not, she been not to me? No, oh, I will not be right. quiet, Jeremy. You only pinged her like fifty times. I'm sure. I feel like she knows. Or if she doesn't, then she's not. You know, it anytime soon. <laughs> You're so intense about your D and D sessions. I just hate I like that it. she was here an hour and a half ago, and now she's not back. And I fucking called it. <laughs> I hate that I was right I this, this one, one time. time. Yes, you know she's in an argument with her fucking boyfriend. Probably. But there's whatever. Yes. But we, we have, have four people. people. That's, That's the minimum. minimum. That's what matters. Look at me. Yeah. Coming in clutch. Coming in clutch. You came in clutch as Janna a lot of it, too. So I guess... Um, oh, speaking of Janna. Yeah. <laughs> I uh, guess I Ragam and, and uh, Yudi get separated or something? Uh, Ragam will just Somehow? Ragam will be rendered mute. It'll be the next step. Before they go from... Thundercloud over his head, and now he's mute. And it's just gonna keep piling on until he gives her a kiss. Oh, right, so when Chili gets back, Ragum is mute. I love that. 
Yeah, yeah she's, she's gonna, gonna be totally be happy, be happy about, about coming, coming back to that. that. No, no, I mean, you gotta pile on the consequences, right? Uh, uh, measured and proportionate responses. Anyway, yes. go on. Uh, so I guess since failure is waiting, or failure is getting a beer for two hours. Uh, so oh, he's he, buying a beer. Oh, he's buying a beer, that will do it. Okay. So, uh, you are proceeding through the Feywild, sniffing out... A oh, wait. We should probably just wait for him, then, if it's just the two of us. Or... Oh, it's just me? Okay. Well, you, you were by yourself to begin with. True. Because you went off to your... So, you have a, uh, a pretty decent... Uh, a relative, relative reckoning, reckoning on where a, a convergence would be. Smell it out, sense it out, taste it in the air, as it were. You are heading off in what you presume to be the right direction, checking over your shoulder every now and again to make sure the forest hasn't moved or changed. And you walk past a, a rather large, healthy-looking tree. It's, uh, it's definitely a couple hundred years old. It's got some purple and deep brown, uh, deep orange, like a burnt orange leaves to it. You hear a little bit of uh, muttering and chattering to yourself. Hey, too. You hear a little bit of muttering and chattering, rather. As I pass the tree? As, as you pass the tree. Alright. Turning and looking, you see a human with a, uh, almost like a mohawk, but tied up in a braid behind him. Uh, what, else, what else does he look like, James? That's me. That's you. Eh? Yeah. What else does it look like? Um. Oh, hair, dirty brown, brown. Is he a fire Okay. He has, he has brown hair. Okay. And. Oh, melt in your face. No, he has not high. Brooke. <laughs> nope. Nope. Uh. Oh, Jiglet's got me. Is he wearing, wearing anything? <laughs> He's wearing hide armor. Well, he has a sword in his back. He is very tall. And... Fur boots? Leather boots? Are they nice? Leather boots. Strong, arm, uh, muscular body. Many of those uh, Celtic knot designs anywhere? Any... Uh, Charms or he has tattoos on his arm and ring. He has a necklace of a long ship. Hmm. Okay. Remember yesterday we told you to think about this? Hey, I forgot about that part, but I thought about everything else. Oh, okay. All right, cool. Okay. Alright. Alright, so that's uh, and he's uh, uh, behind, behind this tree. He's behind a tree. He looks a little raggled. <laughs> raggedy. Uh, he's, he's clearly <laughs> unhappy. Uh, Themis will come up short and look over, and uh, uh, James, uh, Th Themis is uh, around like 5'8. He's uh, got currently got uh, blue hair and uh, slightly luminescent blue eyes. Um, his hair kind of goes down into a cloak, uh, but you could probably tell that it's quite long. He has a couple crossbows strapped to his back and what looks like the hilt of a couple swords sticking out at his hips. And um, a small bandolier with uh, some flasks that you might be able to recognize as potions. I don't really know what your character's proficiencies are. Um, and uh, what else? Yeah, that's about it. And he just comes up short and he says, A human. Now, how did you end up here? I am Yalorun. I am a Viking mercenary 
that was fighting in the war and is moving on oh, to find sure. something different and new. Mm -hmm. How do you or spell that? Morbid curiosity. E O L R A M. E O L R A N. Thank you. Could like stave off. Oh, there. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, that's that's your that's very well and good. But how are you, how did you end up here in the wilds? This is not exactly the the place that I would expect to find mortals unattended. I went where the winds took me. <laughs> the winds did not treat you well, good sir. <laughs> oh, no. I see. And did you just end up in this forest, or was there... Don't go in that door. Did you walk You're through any portal? Or did, did you engage in any dealings with the Fae? Did you just wake up here one day? I have yet to encounter any Fae. There's like six people up there. <laughs> I am unaware that I traveled through any sort of portal or woke up here. I see. Well, this is most strange, as you are no longer on your plane of existence. <laughs> you understand this, yes? You're smoke. Yeah, you're smoke. Repeat that again, please. You are no longer on the plane oh, of your birth. You're the plane of existence where you have oh, lived, I, I assume, most of your life. Of the prime material plane. The Mundus, the prime oh, material, Mundus. bringing in bells here. Um, you just got blasted. By it, the okay. Um, I hit things with his sword. Well, <laughs> is he a fighter? He is. <laughs> yes, he is. <laughs> Let's go. You're you're a Viking, yes. Well, the uh, Scandinavian Peninsula is quite quite far from here. Uh, You'd be hard pressed to return home simply by walking, is what I'm trying to imply. So, you really don't remember how you got here. Um, I, well, okay. <laughs> You want to hand it over to Strippy? You want me to hand it over? A little bit. Okay. Now, you've been here for quite a while now. I had it as... It's been a little bit over two weeks, but because it's always twilight, you don't really know about the passage of time so much. You just know that you've had to sleep about two dozen times. It's, uh... You've encountered some strange things. It's very obvious to you that it, you are not on your home plane. Or on Mundus. Or anywhere <laughs> that you've ever been before. Tree leaves are purple or burnt orange all the time, which you've never seen in your own homeland. Or in any of your travels. Or anything like that. You've seen many strange things. Talking flowers. Angry trees. Um, you've see, you felt you felt a, a, you felt gusts and gales occur in the woods, which is very strange to you because winds don't really reach into the woods. Rarely, if ever, they certainly don't reach deep into this woods, which you've never seen the end of. You've come across clearings and glades and all that sort of stuff. And you've managed to eat your rations and find food. Maybe you've even done a little bit of hunting of the so foreign-looking islands around here. Whoever knew it would get me into this much trouble. So yes, you are aware this is not where you're supposed to be, but uh, you're just kind of plowing ahead and uh, sort of hoping for the best. <laughs> I suppose okay. since you don't, uh, yeah. since you don't really know how you got here, you certainly don't know how to leave. Mm -hmm. yeah. But whenever there's too much of a ruckus, you just try and uh, hide and let them go past. Seemed like the safe thing to do, right? Mm -hmm. Well, um, it's a pleasure meeting you, Yolren. Uh, I, on the other hand, do know how I got here, and um, I most certainly need to get back to the Prime Material as I have a bunch of business to take care of. So, um, 
I wish you uh, safe travels and um, fair winds. And uh, Themis will turn around with a swish of his cloak and start heading uh, actually quite confidently into the woods. Mm -hmm. Seems to know where he, at least the, the direction that he's heading in, if not maybe his destination. So if you're telling me that if this is a place that you are not meant to be as immortal yourself, then this is a place that I should not be. Is there any way that I can part a passage along with you since you so gallantly you left off confident and Demis turns around when left. you say barter. <laughs> and he has uh, his hair uh, you notice that his hair is suddenly green for some reason. And um, he looks at you and, and uh, well, you're mistaken about one thing. I am most certainly a native of this plane. Um, I will assume that you do not know much about my people, so I will ignore the very tempting morsel that you've placed before me. I would advise caution when using the words barter or trade around the denizens of the Feywilds. They can, it can be taken um, in ways that would be unpleasant for you. As for accompanying me, I don't see why not. Do try not to touch anything or offend anyone. Uh, let me do the talking if we run into any of the courtiers of this realm. Uh, what else? No, that seems to be it. Well, come along now, Yolren. Got quite a ways to go if my senses do not deceive me. And, uh,. Yes. He'll turn back around with another sw swish of his cloak, oh, chilly. and uh, head on deeper into the forest. Oh, no. It's up for you to follow, if that's what you want. <laughs> and this is where I follow. Yalrin strides forward confidently along with his new <laughs> companion, and they ride off into the sunset. Well, the sun doesn't really set here, but I appreciate the Classic. thought. <laughs> well, the sentiment's still sad. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Chilly. Hi, Chilly. Chilly. Mute. He's doing I can't hear you, Chills, if you're talking. You gotta wait. I heard headphones getting plugged in. I heard a snap. Oh. Audio is pop. being transmitted. A snack crackle pop. I'm here too. <laughs> yes, oh. you are. You're, oh, you're, more, you're way more punctual than she is, though. Oh, hi, yeah. Chili! Yeah. Okay, maybe Ragam's not mute. You sound like you're in a bad mood. I'm tired. I'm very tired. I see. Hi, tired. I'm dead. Well, we were gonna make. Oh, shut up, failure! So. <laughs> <laughs> My grandfather made that joke to me when I was like six. Jeez. Alright, well, it just. Um, yeah, Stay as wonder. long as you want, I guess. I didn't hear a single there, ping at all. all. <laughs> and my sound was up next to me. <laughs> I should have called. Oh, I called it. Don't worry, I've been in your shoes. <laughs> Just drink a bunch of booze, you'll be okay. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, no, that makes me more tired. Uh oh. So that's when you sleep. Just zonked out. Yeah. But then, right, boom. Right there, the computer chair. Just... Playing D and D. Wouldn't be the first time. There's no better way. Uh, I think so... I slept on my desk for like half of university. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. So. All right. I think it's just in time. It is. Because. Uh... So, UD and, and Raugum. Um, 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 um. <coughs> what time are... Sorry. Interruption by me. Mm -hmm. I couldn't tell. What time are... Do we have a set time of when we're finished? Sorry. It's uh, 7.30 for us. Oh, no. Uh, finished. We usually do a three-hour session. Okay. You can go whenever you have to. Okay. I could probably do an hour to an hour and a half. Ooh. So, so just just forewarned of mm -hmm. schedule and mm -hmm. bed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, continue. Yudi and 
Raugum, the uh, Raugum the wet, Raugum the rainy, and mute. Head yes. <laughs> head into the forest. Uh, uh, if you want to, well, I assume you do want to try and figure out exactly where Themis went. So, Not really. No. <laughs> you just gonna start walking? Nope. We're gonna go just out of sight. And then hide as well as we can. <laughs> and, and like stationary hide? Yes, Ooh. because if we go after him and he comes back for us, mm -hmm. we're fucked. Mm -hmm. So yes, stationary hiding. Okay. All right. Interesting. The turnaround. Uh, yeah. Alright, so... Alright, yeah, so go ahead and you can both do stealth checks. We'll see how well that goes for you. This is going to be terrible. So you're going to... Well, 10 is average. Why? Why even... Why is Jeremy overlapping me? This is not okay. I mean, she was overlapping me, so... <laughs> yeah, I know. This is annoying. Okay. Ah, just ignore it. It's fine. It's so grumpy. It's adorable. <laughs> Sleepy chilly. Oh, Jesus. Why is it set to that now? Auto rolling advantage. Well. Classy, uh, classy. Uh, so you both feel that you're uh, pretty well hidden, pretty much. Uh, as well as you're gonna get in this relatively alien landscape. You wear your masks, I don't know what's happening. Did you upgrade this? Why is everything so different now? I didn't do anything with anybody's cool. stuff except for James's. So, you see how you have your character sheet and you have advantage, normal, and disadvantage? You see how advantage is in red? No. Click on normal. I, I did, no. But like, oh. My goal, oh. my goal... My goal is, like, at the top of my eye. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah what the they fuck? Updated. It was updated. Interesting. I didn't scroll down far enough to see that. <laughs> yeah, and all oh, my I still got my, uh... Yeah. See, I just... Well... Maybe she'll be <laughs> So, stealth, so we're not I average. Mean... <laughs> no, you are average. You're Well, you're pretty much average. Yeah. You guys, yeah, there you go. Alright. <clears throat> so go you're going there. to hunker down. And wait for the wee lad Themis to return. That's I... really fine. Alright, so... Uh, Can I take a nap? You can certainly like an try. eight hour nap. You cannot. You <laughs> probably. Then this is not going to take eight hours. I can tell you that much. Maybe like two or three. But. Okay. In that case, I have no use for a nap. You can take. A, you can take a short rest all you want. That's no problem at all. I, I have no use for that. Well, okay. All righty then. Oh yes, my friend. So, uh, Themis and his new. Acquaintance trek deeper into the Feywild. I got two bolts, and so, you know, one of you okay, okay. can Take roll that. a 1d10. I think the other dude did, yeah. Yeah? I, I don't care who it, I don't care who, but. Oh, thank you. Alright, you're rolling. First roll. Alright, here we go. Ready, guys? Oh, yeah. Hit us with that 20. Ready? Oh, mm -hmm. it's a D10, actually. Nine. Nine. Oh. oh, DM's choice. That's very nice. I like it. Oh, no. <laughs> Alright, so you are... Um, they, they all say DM's choice, so don't worry about it. Ah. So, <laughs> so you are walking through the... Uh, walking through the Feywild. You hear some rustling behind you, and you see what looks kind of like some squirrels. It's just a small amount, like uh, four, maybe five of them. They're just kind of following you, mm, like three or four feet away. They, Anything uh, particular about them that they they have different colorations than they do on Mundus, but mm -hmm. are, and they're not like they're not glowing with magic, and they're not they don't seem to be wearing anything. They got uh, a couple of them have some. Uh, nuts in their hands. 
know, some walnuts or something reminiscent of that, close to that. Can I pet it? Uh, you turn around to try and pet the squirrel. If she turns around, then this is just gonna say, I wouldn't do that if I were you. But it's a squirrel. Uh, Not much as as it seems in the in this place. So when th- when Thami oh, says oh, you, oh, all the squirrels oh, throw oh, a bunch oh, of walnuts at you, at oh, both of you. Yikes! They, they they just scatter off harmlessly. It doesn't really hurt. Right? Yeah, yeah, so yeah, 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 well, that was interesting. my point now? I mean, it was squirrels. If we see anything else, just ignore it. It's not worth okay. the hassle. Those were that that was one of the most uh benign encounters that I've had in the in woods such as these. Well, come along. Oh, when you Quite a ways to go, as I said. Y'all rum rum. Suffer another peppering of hard shelled tree fruit as they follow you around. They seem to be just waiting for you to say specific words. Mm. Uh, you know, as you do. Indeed. So, uh, after remaining relatively quiet or maybe trying to whisper any sort of communication that's required, you do, in fact, find a, uh, tr- a tree that's, that seems to really tingle and ping on your senses a little bit. Interesting. Um, what does this tree look like? Is it it's, does it look uh, it's, it's, large it's, and old, or is it young? Or? It's it's large and old. Uh, it's uh, walking around it. You find a very wide, open knot in it to the point where you can see a little bit into the tree, and inside there you see what looks like a mm, medium sized, a little bit smaller sized portal. It's nestled in this open knot. And it's stable? Does it look like it's been carved into the tree, or is it like just there? Like, are there runes around it? Has it been. Does it look like it's been cr- created, or is it just. Does it seem to be completely natural? It seems kind of natural. You don't see any sort of uh, magical circumscription that would be anchoring it here. Doesn't seem okay. to flash or flicker or spark or anything like that that would say it's unstable. Uh, it just looks like it's going to be a tight squeeze, and uh, yeah, who knows if well, it doesn't mean that it's not stable. You know, it could disappear. Who knows, really? But uh, it seems trustworthy enough. Mm. <laughs> right then. Turn around to to Yorlin. So, um, if you'd like, this will take you back into uh, the prime material. I do have to go collect some. I miss hesitates for a little bit. Companions that I left in a relatively safe place. Nice. He seems to understand that maybe his assessment isn't a hundred percent true. Um, or correct. Uh, if you'd like, you can hop on through the portal and you'll be that much closer to your way wherever you're going. Or you could wait for me or follow me or... I don't hold any particular opinion either way. Well, since I don't know any better... I prefer to just follow you since you do say that you are the expert on these matters, and honestly, I don't really trust that portal. I'd rather take my chances on my own two feet where I can sort of understand what is going on. Well, so I'll follow you. Even if you're following me, we'll be going through that portal eventually, but uh, I can understand your caution. This place is uh, wow. yeah. hostile, to say the least. Well, those scrolls say. Yes, the squirrels were quite funny, weren't they? Um, but like I said, those are the 
one of the most benign encounters I've had. Anyway, back the way we came then. Okay. And, uh, we'll start heading back down the path. Or the <laughs> through the port. Alrighty, so you all, you both rather, head back after a little over an hour or so. Uh, you hear the distant strains of the party that you left. Uh, Raugum and UD, after. Um, before, before we get to the party. Actually, you know what? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I'll turn to Yorlin. Um, we'll be entering clearing shortly. Um, don't listen to the music, uh, or talk to anyone, or accept any gifts from anyone. Hey, that's more than he told us. <laughs> Actually, that's pretty much exactly what I told you. That is pretty much exactly what I told you. Will this be a difficult task for me to complete? <laughs> I honestly have no clue. I, I find the music quite pleasant myself, but uh, I've, I've seen what it can do to uh, people not of this plane, and hmm. Let's say dancing isn't always fun, shall we? And uh, with that, he'll uh, head towards the clearing. Alright, uh, you. Uh... Get Actually, I think I told them less than what I told you guys. Oh. You told yeah. us not to make deals with people, to and to basically just not fuck with anything, and, and then you just dipped. Me. Yeah, sounds like me. I mean, that sounds pretty explanatory to me. Just... I don't know. Wait till he starts making wisdom throw saving yeah. throws. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you get to about the tree line, and Yudi and Raugum, you hear some footsteps, commotion. Uh, from your experience, it doesn't sound like it's one pair of feet, though. All right, I go into hiding. Okay, all right, so you're, you're still remaining in stealth then. Oh, yes. Well, uh, Themis's perception, net passive perception, is way higher than your 10. Dude, so my passive perception is higher than my 10. <laughs> <laughs> so he's definitely going to see you and Raugum. Uh, so you'll, you'll, you'll see them right around the tree line. The wait, wait, kinda, wait. Hmm? Am, I, am I wearing my thing that I can, like, activate it so I don't look like me? <laughs> you can, sure, if you'd like. Yudi's right yes. there, but sure, you can do that. Sure, yes. what do you want to look like? Another Fey Wild. You want to look like another Fey? All right. Yeah. Okay. You see UD hiding with uh, a Fey who has a rain cloud over his head <laughs> and a big leaf, and it looks like. Well, I guess the clothes would I be feel like if the rain cloud was still there, we'd have a lot more pressing issues than Themis found us. I feel like something else <laughs> would have found us. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a point. It's, it's something, something to consider. To consider. But, but anyways, anyways, so you you both see Raugum and what, what looks like a very foreign, alien-looking creature uh, with glassy eyes, kind of reminiscent of the greys from X-Files or whatever. whatever. Yeah. Uh, just a slight angle. They're 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 a soft green. A little bit of um, petals take the place of hair, and you need to just hunker down with it. All right, uh, Themis will approach and um, give a shallow bow and uh, <coughs> greetings, Kircher. Um I apologize for any. Inconvenience, my retainer, I suppose you. Um, if it doesn't, uh, if anybody notice, uh, keeping a good watch on it, would it notice his eyes flick up to the rain cloud with a little bit of confusion. Yeah. Um, if it, uh, pleases you, uh, we have business to attend to. Um, uh, come along, Yudi. Uh, where's Raukum? Help, I think I'm stuck in this tree. <laughs> Honestly, I was just trying to hide at first. Now I don't think I can get out. And there's this weird gray thing that appeared where Raugum was, and I'm just confused. 
does recognize me. <laughs> oh, oh, big oh, oh. Yes! I am uncertain if we've met before, Courtier, but I most certainly don't recognize you now. I'll just tap it. Okay. <laughs> Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> oh, oh, so you turn, turn it off? off. Okay. Yeah. So, the illusion drops and there's Raghum. Soaking wet with a rain cloud and a big leaf being held. Now and we're even more stuck in the tree because and, Raghum is bigger. And you, can, and you can see now that like the bottom half of his, like from the waist down, is all just t tore up and cut up. You look like you ignored my advice. <laughs> do not understand mm. that um, I the music was too powerful it, it just sucked me in like a whirlpool I see and then it led me to and then you engaged in a duel no um, um, so one of the Feywilds um, wanted to uh, one of the Fey yeah one of the Fey how, how should I say Threw herself upon me, literally, no, and I, I, polite, I politely declined her, but she was very unhappy. Hence my well, rain cloud, good, and then I tried to not be as wet, so I grabbed a leaf and that pissed off all the trees. Then this will just start fucking laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's, uh, that's <laughs> I, I did eat uh, his weasel. So. Oh, oh yes, that's right. right. You did, in fact, toss the weasel. <laughs> so, um, since he's laughing at me, can I hit him with my leaf? My wet leaf, like a wet noodle. I just want to whack, whack. Sure. That's not, not even going to do any damage, damage so, so I'll just let it happen, happen unless Dennis wants to go test it. <laughs> Why would I let you do that? Okay, so you're going to roll attack then. then. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. I, I should make, make a disadvantage because you're not proficient with wet foliage. But... <laughs> with wet foliage? <laughs> can I get proficiency with wet foliage? No, you can't actually. <laughs> what if I start hucking Brussels sprouts? At Improvised people? weapons. Or yeah, yeah, I guess sure. just start hitting people with wet leaves would probably be your best bet for this situation. <laughs> uh, there's there's a lot of leaves, man. I gotta tell you. There are a lot of leaves around here. What, what the shit? shit? <laughs> Wait, what? Why was your command one slash <laughs> d20? Because she's sleepy, remember? Very clear. One d20. <laughs> Bringing us to 3.16 completely. <laughs> I'm not doing, doing a fraction of a point of damage. Alright, 12 does not hit him. Where are you guys typing? Uh, this is in roll, uh, in roll 20. Oh, yeah, roll 20. Most combat happens in roll 20. Um, yeah. Then this will just, I... uh... Um... What do you mean? This is not in Discord, it's in the Roll20... Yeah, I... He's in the Roll20 app, it's in chat. You're oh, in yeah, app. it's in chat. You're in the oh, map. Ah, found it. I was on the wrong tab, my bad. Hey, <laughs> sorry. Were you on the, uh, journal tab? Yes, I was. Yeah, okay. <laughs> he likes okay, his my character. Bad. Yes, I do. <laughs> All right, so you watch Raugum swings, and it's just a floppy <laughs> stick. It's pretty soaked through. Yeah, and, just, uh, uh, it's, it's just uh, yeah. steps. Uh, yeah, it's a clean miss. All right, all right. I'll throw away. I'll throw away my leaves, and I have seven little round pebbles. Let's, let's I would like to throw through. them at him as well, just to, like get him <laughs> laughing. Oh, uh, Do is you have proficiency with thrown weapons? <laughs> Improvised I weapons. At I, this point. I don't. Yeah. Well, go ahead. Uh, me. Well, no, it's not plus wow. three wow. because you don't have proficiency, so it's you your, can't apply your modifier. It's, it's your dex mod. You can apply your dex mod, but it not is your my dex mod. Oh, uh, okay. Well, then, never mind, then. <laughs> so it doesn't matter. It's a twelve. So I get rid it of. Still doesn't level. hit. And it still step back to where he was originally. Uh, <laughs> you, of all the times to make an enemy, you'd think that maybe your guide is not the person that you Ooh, want to be doing this to. Well, I mean, we'll see about that. <laughs> he laughed at me. <laughs> he laughed at all me. All in all, I'd say you got off pretty easy. Yeah, I'd say so too. Uh, uh, though, that, the item that allowed you to 
Did you cast Disguise Self on her? On him? I can't cast Disguise Self on him. Uh, right. I see. Self, I have in the name. It's Disguise Self. <laughs> uh, so what how did Raugum cast that? Disguise Self? Themis, I feel like you're getting a little ahead of yourself. <laughs> Introduce your friend. Oh, yes. Uh, Yorlin. I never oh, got your last name. You. Yorlin. Raugum. Raugum Yorlin. Uh... Yudi, Yorlin, Yorlin, Yudi. Everybody's introduced now. Um, Hi, I'm you. Pl please. Oh. Dear. <laughs> <laughs> there there it is. Oh. Hi. 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 James. Who's your James. What? I just got introduced. Do you want to say anything? Except Hello, you. everyone. You can't Except <laughs> Except when he looks over, he sees two Themis's now. Yes, and now uh, Raug the dwarf that looked like a fae. What is the cooldown on this item? How many charges does it have? <laughs> I'm going to give it three charges a day. It, it will... But it's attuned to me. It's not. It is. You, you sat down and attuned it? I guess you could have done it while you were yeah, hiding. It was a yeah. long wait. She certainly could have. Just Maybe uh, uh, so Raugum originally looked like a fae, now then he would look like Raugum, now he looks like Themis. <laughs> Albeit uh, okay, yeah, that'll work. Uh, hey um hey Themis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Themis will just look at Yudi. Uh with a with a <laughs> concerned look on his face. You've got two Where, looking how, at you. How is he doing that? Uh, yeah. How, how, more importantly, how is he did you mean us any harm by leaving us with the music? Well, no. I assumed you would just not listen to it. Okay. As I instructed you. Or you could have told us to vacate the area. That would have been a lot safer. Yes, I'm sorry that I thought such a leap of logic within your grasp. My sincerest apologies. How is he doing that? Oh, your apologies, I'm sure, are accepted. Is he lying? Oh, so no. Uh, okay, so he cast Detect Thoughts on you, but he rolled an 18 I sleight of hand, so yeah. you don't know that he cast a spell. Okay, no, I, I did not. Okay. I'm not lying. Okay. Okay, Themis, so you actually you, did not. You can tell. Out. You can. You can tell that. You can tell that Themis was concerned at the fact that he was in the Feywilds, and is very much concerned about. Startled. Well, he was startled and also very, very concerned that you were all that all of us were here. Okay. Right. If he was there, okay. But it's all three of us, and um, you can also tell that he's very concerned about how Raugum is doing that, and. As to whether he has made a deal or stolen something or otherwise acquired something from a fae. So, yes, no, ter terribly sorry, but how is he doing that? Sticky fingers. How is he doing that? Are, are you are you implying that he stole something from this gathering? I mean, it was handed to him, and then we walked away. And did he hand something back in return? Shit. <laughs> that was out of character. Uh, <laughs> just, just, Yudi does not just suddenly uh, go, Shit. <laughs> no. No, he did not. By the powers. Oh, by the powers. Freaking oh, massages his temples. I'm I'm mirroring mirroring everything he's doing right now. Nice. <laughs> it's very mature. Here, I mean, shit. Do we need a third? Because I can get us a third. Oh. We need a third. <laughs> oh wow! Yeah, it's perfect. <laughs> Ralgum reads into your movements <laughs> really well this time. But the thing that he can't probably imitate is the fact that uh, Themis's hair has turned a bright, vibrant red. Okay, no, he oh. cannot 
Tottenham. Oh, that would be so fun. <laughs> it would, but wait, wait, you'd wait. Have to recast it, and that would be your last use. So. Uh, I can use prestidigitation to turn it into a different color, right? Kind yeah. of. <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right. I prestidigitation uh, uh, illusion there. <laughs> 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 Lemus doesn't even notice uh, and is just massaging his temples. Who did you take this from? Who did you take it from? Oh, this was taken from Sabori. Sabori, one of the Fae. <coughs> yes. Oh, Sabiri. Never. Yeah, Sabiri. <laughs> <laughs> just, you know, make sure I got the pronunciation correct, because I have pronunciation on this for some reason. Uh, and she gave it to you of her own free will. <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. Uh, uh, I mean... I mean... It's she was never unwilling throughout the transaction. <laughs> she... Oh in, she, through words, implied that she was giving this to you free of charge and bar. Oh no, absolutely not. <laughs> I see. And so, <laughs> she charged you with using it for a purpose? Nope. We just walked the fuck away. Hmm. So it's a gift, you would say. Yeah. I would definitely say so. <laughs> you remember what I said about gifts, Raga? No. I really don't. Yes, well, before I left, I told you not to accept any. As you are now indebted to this Fae, and we have no idea what her true power is, no matter what her appearance was. Considering she couldn't figure out how to use it, I doubt she's gonna really remember. And how do you know that she was being truthful with you? Uh, After rolling a 19 in performance. Ooh, Raugum, really, man? <laughs> well, how would you know? Oh, jeez. We don't, that's the issue. Yes, I wasn't present. In either case, you should most certainly offer to return it, or offer something of equal value in return. Well, she, she didn't seem to have much interest in it since she couldn't get it to work. Mm-hmm. Regardless, if she has given you something... Wait, it you... didn't belong to her originally, did it? No, it didn't. That's the thing. It, so it wasn't in her possession, it was are, just handed off. Are you, yeah. are you saying this aloud? Or is yes. that just... A player to player. Oh, okay. I, I will say that's in character. <laughs> mm. Okay. Well, regardless of how she came into possession of it, you accepted it from her. Yeah. And I, if well, anything, if she had stolen going. it, you would bear the burden of that theft as well now. So, here's so perhaps you might want to go back and offer it back to her and offer your condolences for accepting it in the first place, or offer her something of equal value. Because now, you may very well have a fay appearing at almost any time to demand things of you, and I don't believe that a future king should be so tied down. I also have a rain cloud following me around. Yes, that I noticed, and from what I, what I heard, you got away quite easy on that one. I would have just fucked the bitch. That's where you and I are different. Clearly. Thought. <laughs> <laughs> Is that with a U, G, H, or... <laughs> Whichever one you want to think. <laughs> o, T. Yes. I will just point my longsword at your throat at this point. Oh, right. No. Some oh, please, do, do go on and kill me. Hush now, children. I'm sure we wouldn't want to stand poorly. Then this will just give you a blasé look. Children, really. <sighs> and I'm the youngest person in the group. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> this buffoon doesn't seem to understand the gravity of the situation that he's placed himself in by accepting fr something from one of the people. 
Rum. This buffoon. Spice rum. Not, does not understand the pain I've already been through. Candy. So go fuck yourself. Dude, uh, make up. So, you've so been through so much pain that you now seek it out like some kind of masochist. Is that what you're saying? Yo. <laughs> you. Self. Just indescript laughter in the background. <laughs> yeah. Same though. Yeah, what the fuck is yourself? Right there. That's what you're saying. Because. Yeah. Go yourself. Right. So, in either after, case, if yeah, you would introduce yeah. me to the Fey yeah. that gave it to you, so that I may clarify that I am in no way responsible for your actions, and thus not subject to any favors from her or to her, I would appreciate that. Well, if we run into her, I'll let you know. Why don't you lead me to her? Um, no. Because the grass wanted to kill Raugo. <laughs> <laughs> the grass yes. Hurt. I no. shit you not. I w were I to rip off one of your fingers, wouldn't you want to kill me? I mean, which finger? Yeah. All of them. Can I use them as spell Irrelevant. Were I to take your nose? Oh, I feel like that's very relevant, Dennis. And Yudi will lean in a little further with his grin slowly widening. Can we go back to the train now. Oh, true, yes. How did we leave this land? As we can leave this land as soon as. Dennis takes a deep breath, breath and looks at Rogum. I pray you don't regret this. And, uh... Kind of... Fixes his cloak a little bit. Fine. If you wish to, uh... Take freely from the Fae, then... May the consequences be on your head. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Except that the consequences shouldn't only rest on his head. A portion of it should be yours, even though you do agree. Oh, and all of us can agree that... You stated some sort of caution, but did not explain the entire caution. And so they are not all at fault. Oh, what he said. That's... Can I high five you? Mm. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay, just out of character, I'm yeah. really impressed with the new guy because <laughs> epistemologically, that is complete. Completely correct. Uh, <laughs> he, he's, he's right, but the fair are going to see it that way. So. Yeah, exactly. You, know, you, you can like, say oh, it all you This guy dropped some fucking hot it's, shit. It's, and it was <laughs> awesome, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, because we're all going to die. It doesn't matter at all. They're, They're not, not going to take, take it that far. far. So, we all just get laid. Time to pay yeah. them fully. Like, I would like to remind there? everyone, this could have you know, been completely avoided if Ragum just fucked that chick. Mm hmm. Okay. No. Yeah. See, okay, no, no, no. One sec. One sec. Now I've got to explain it to my roommate. So. <laughs> Do you? No, no, no. no. no <laughs> you understand. To. You don't fully get it. Yeah. Let's go. Okay. Raugum is our barbarian. Right? Yes. We yes. went into something called the Feywilds. And basically, it came down to Raugum was either going to fuck this chick or piss off, you know, an entire. Uh, territory of very powerful people. people. Yeah, a, a bunch of very powerful people. And, and so, instead of just <laughs> sticking his dick in the Fey woman, man <laughs> fucked off. And now we're hiding. He fucked, fucked off, off in, in the, the most inconsiderate and rude way possible, where he just said no. That's, that's all. Yes. Not like I'm engaged, or I don't, I don't think it would be a good idea. idea. No, it's just, just no. zero explanation. No. Just bye. <laughs> He, he just want to, well, well, being forthright and blunt and honest is our dwarven virtues, right? He's just sticking, sticking with that. that. It was just no, consistency. It consistency. Was just, yeah, yeah. As a, from a roleplay perspective, <laughs> it was perfect. <laughs> no, but yeah, you shit. It, it's like, it's actually amazing that we're in this situation he's, now. It's just, I felt like I have to explain it. He's just, just giving me so much information. That's all it really is. I mean, I mean, any issue, rather. He's giving me so much information. <laughs> I'm, I'm thoroughly pleased. So, we'll just, uh, we'll, we'll take, take this as red for now. now. We can come, come back, back to it. All right. After a sufficient amount of bickering, we, uh, turn to the topic of leaving. 
Mm -hmm. That's the thing. Themis is still considering the consequences oh. of this. And, uh. Risk it. Yeah, so but you, I, yeah, but and I he do. turns to Raugum. How long does the disguise self last, by the way? Does he still look like me? Oh, yeah, it'll, yeah, it'll be, be like, like an hour, hour or two per charge. charge. Okay. Anyway, I would like, like to go to. home. I would like. Raugum wants to go home. <laughs> Raugum. Um, home. I mean, with normally, the, with a 25 in intim intimidation would scare Themis. But. Not in this case, because being in favor to some unknown fey scares him even more. Well, how do I? Well, that should at least motivate you to like speed up the process. Not speed up the process. Not the process. He's trying to speed up the process of information. Of, you know, instead of no, the, because the, what you don't understand right. is if we can go back to Mundus, so can the fey. And you've already seen multiple strange creatures in the train that you can probably recognize now that you're actually in the Feywilds as Fey. And so you must realize that the Fey are among us in the Prime Material. Your favor could be called in at any time if it has been given, which I can't confirm because you won't introduce me to the courtier who's given you this item. Ragum don't care. Ragum go home. Right. Well, I fear that I must uh, delay us further than as I uh, seek audience with the power of this court to well, confirm that I am not, not responsible for your actions. I don't give a okay. shit. Hurry up. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, not wrong. Themis is going to walk back to the party. Does anyone want to go with him? No. Judy will look down. <laughs> no. Look up. <laughs> sigh and oh, fall. No. Oh, I'm mm. not. I am absolutely not. And under his breath, <laughs> Why he not? fucking whispering to himself, I don't have counterspell, I don't have counterspell, I don't have counterspell. The uh, fuck is wrong I'm with everyone here? I'm gonna be just fine in the woods. Okay. Oh fuck, that's a natty twenty, uh <laughs> Oh shit! Are you, you're you're, you're, gonna, you're not gonna like move around. You're just gonna you're stay, back. right? So. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Well, then you don't you don't have to roll that. Well, uh, I mean, like I might like go back into the tree, go yeah, stealth, you know, right like kind of camouflage back into the tree, whatever it is. Okay. You know, okay just sure. Kinda... Oh, sure. So, James, what are you doing? Are you going or staying? Should um, I stay or should I go? Should I stay, I stay there will be tries and says, you know. I might get laid. I'll come. <laughs> True! <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, just like Nipsey. It'll just yeah, be all over me. again. Okay, uh, so you three walk back into the the fet that's going on. There is... Themis will reach over and grab both of them by the arms and kind of just hook his arms through uh, through theirs to keep them from wandering off. Right, of course. As you Whether go. they resist that is up to them. Of course. Alright, so you head into the circle. There are pretty much all the Fae that, uh, well, I guess Yudi's the only one who really took notice of them. So there are Dryads, there are Nymphs, there are Sprites and Pixies fluttering around. There is a glade off to the side where it looks like uh, male and female Fae are bathing. There is a tower that is t technically not surrounded by the moat like in the picture, but uh, it has been cut in half at an angle, just shorn clean off, maybe by magic or by a blade or who knows what. It looks like it'll be a blade or something. It's very clean. Uh, around the castle, around the tower uh, area there, it looks like there are people who are dueling or tumbling with some uh, scimitar-shaped swords. And all around in a large clearing, in between you and the tower, there is quite a reel going on of various fey. Uh, looks like some races from Mundus might be thrown in there a little bit. Everyone seems to be having a good time and laughing. There are uh, other... Uh, there are a few more... Uh, 
a little bit taller, a little bit fairer, a little bit more humanoid looking fae that are standing along, around the edges. There are some with more of the um, monochromatic, glassy eyes that Raugham looked like. Some that uh, looked like they're part tree or uh, look like they're blossoming from their head, like pollen and leaves are falling from the tops of their heads. There is a small arrangement of edibles. Not edibles, you say. Consumables, <laughs> rather, I would say. Consumables, <laughs> consumables on, uh, yeah, like, on kind of large, it. wide tree stumps. There's, there's a small buffet. Um, and as you approach, I'm going to have UD and Eorum yeah. make Throw. wisdom saving throws. Uh, uh, you guys didn't resist me holding your arms, right? Nope. Okay, All right. so UD will Doesn't have... UD's DC will be lower than Yolrum's. Which doesn't matter, because he got a fucking 24. Yeah, so that's Which a success. Odd. And so you were... You, uh, you're pretty much used to this. This is old hat for you. I'm not gonna do anything. So, do you know how to do a wisdom save, save James? I do not. Okay. So you're going to open up your character thing, go to the core page, and then you're going to click wisdom on the uh, saving throws area that's right below the frequency bonus. That is correct. And that's a failure. So you are really feeling this music. It's bright, it's cheery, it's airy. It's it's It says, somehow seems to perfectly encapsulate spring. It's just boundless. And uh, you will start to tap your feet as you walk, do a little two-step, and you start heading right into the dance. Uh, Themis will tighten his hold on Yorlin's arm and uh, just kind of hold him where he is. He's not going to try to stop him from dancing, but he's just going <laughs> to keep him dancing forward. Okay. I'll pull out. So, uh, you are, you're having a little dance. You'd like to get closer, but... This guy seems to know his way around the, around this strange wood. So maybe you should stick with him. Yeah, it, 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 if if the music changes and gets better, maybe you'll think about breaking off. But uh, I'm not gonna make you. Yep. Fight. Yeah, I'm not gonna make you do that immediately. So. I will. I will stay attached to his arm. Right. Because okay. in the back of my head, I think that some dances aren't good. Right, I did say that. Because I listened. Ooh. I'm like, some. I'm liking uh, this guy already. Yeah, no, Ragan does. Ragan listens. Ragan just doesn't no, care. No, Ragan just wants to go home. He didn't listen. No, Ragan listens. It's just in one ear, out the other. Yeah. Fair, fair enough, yeah. He doesn't take anything into consideration. Thought is the difference between Ragan and Dennis. <laughs> Quite literally. Still curious of if that's thought spelt with a U, uh, with a O U G H, or just just, up, just up an O G. Up, up, up for debate. Yeah. Up for debate. Yeah. Probably yeah. both. Why not? It's the fake one. True. True. This is the fake one. Yeah. Right. So Themis is gonna look around for a group of courtiers, probably you know, in a circle, um, around. Someone better dressed probably has some kind of aura of, if not authority, but just present, just a presence. A presence. Okay, that's that's certainly easy enough to do. There's uh, there's a small cluster of fey that seem to have, seem to have a little bit more finery about them, a little bit higher, a little bit higher collars. Dress. More billowy dress, a little bit, a little bit more of, of an air about them. Uh, they seem to be weighted on a little bit more than the other fact. So um, you can go ahead and approach at your leisure. There are uh, the majority of them are a little bit more human looking. They all do have some, uh, just say very styled, very coiffed hair. Yeah. Uh, very, uh, very big. Very big feet. But, but you can, but that's, that's the most likely group that you see. 
Hmm. All right. Um. You can look for somebody lesser. Dude, it really is anxiety. Uh. No, I'm just gonna approach. Uh. Very visibly, not gonna be in, uh trying to hide my approach at all. I'm just gonna with you, with walk up. And the, uh... Yeah. <laughs> And then, um... He's doing a traveling dance, dance locomotion. Uh, as we get closer, um, do they let us into the circle, or are it's, they gonna... It's, 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 it's more of a crescent, crescent. It's, not it's not a full circle, circle I should say. Okay. They, as they, they we, as we approach, games, so. um, um, uh, I will tug the, the two into a like deep-ish bow. Deeper than what I gave, uh, Raugum cum fey. That's for sure. Um. Right. They, and, uh. They give you a little bit yeah. of a side eye, and a, a few of them slowly turn to look at you. As you do. Uh, a few of them give a, a slow nod. Which is. apropos. Indeed. Um. The rest of this exchange will probably be in Sylvan. So you're both going to hear Themis speaking in a very nature-ish way, like you're rustling in grass and chirping of birds. It's going to be curious, but natural, comforting. Which reminds me, we need to figure out the rest of your languages later on. Oh yeah, that's true. You guys never talked about that. Anyways, okay. So you'll, uh, I presume you'll want to start, so it's easy. Right, um... Which would be permitted. It's just not enough. It's, it's, it's Greetings, not courteous. Um... I come seeking... A simple conversation with, uh... The lord of this court. I was invited here quite graciously by one of your fellows, and, uh, one of my companions, or traveling partners, as it were, seems to have accepted an item from one amongst you. I s you don't- you don't understand how I wrote these people, Raugum. You don't understand how I wrote these people. These people are fucking, like- like, they fucking murder villages. They light villages on fire because of, like, missed favors and favors that don't get paid back. You don't understand what you got yourself into. I'm not sure if she was actually a fae. She was just, like, a fairy thing, wasn't she? <laughs> That's okay, crazy. so take... That's a type cut, of fae. Cut fairy in two. <laughs> cut fairy in two after three letters. Yeah. And what do you get? Fairy. <laughs> no, no, cut it in half. You After girl. three letters, so spell out fairy, count out three letters, and then cut the rest of it off. Use your entire arsenal, or you die. That'd be with an I, not an E. Oh. Wait, what? I understood as soon as you said it, Sana. Just so you know. <laughs> oh no, that. And I'm dancing over here. Uh, yeah, he is still. He's still doing a little. Little uh, rolling grapevine. Little, he's in, he's in the groove. It was a great old party. <laughs> he felt both ways. <laughs> Why haven't I gotten laid yet? I don't understand. I know this is the reason why I came. <laughs> Overpriced drinks, There's pollen everywhere. <laughs> Just like anything in the Feywild is a Fey, essentially, or some kind of Fey being, which can be spelt this way or this way. That's... Yes. He speaks Anyway. Well, I do speak the truth because I got oversight on writing the fucking Feywild. <laughs> so, I mean, basically what I'm saying is canon here. Tooth fairy. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So. <clears throat> what was I saying? Right. And, uh... I am in no way, uh... Arguing that this traveling partner does not uh, owe recompense for this gift, I simply want to assure that 
I am not included in this favor, as I'm sure many of you could understand. Oh, right. The Aladrins come over to bring us gifts, it seems, in exchange for some uh, absolution. Ooh, how exciting. Where well, were you present at the time of the exchange, then? No, Lord. I was not. Okay, this, uh, here. This is the one who'll be speaking. Because he's hot. Yeah! <laughs> it's like Peacock Voldemort. Yeah, it's, it's, his hairline's a little farther back than I'd like, but, you know, whatever. Can't win them all, you know. True. True. Oh, so. You lost one with me there, babe. Oh, <laughs> Damn it, Jay. Hey, but you won one with me, so it kind of evens out. <laughs> uh, um, I'm mm, sorry, what did you I'm... say? What did you say? <laughs> I, completely for... I completely blanked. Go ahead, say it again, please. Oh, I just uh, okay. simply wanted to assure that... Oh yeah, I, I said I wasn't present at the exchange. Was it, was it with one of these two? Uh, no. The, the partner in question has refrained from once again taking part in your dance. <sighs> That's a shame. I feel that they would really enjoy a reel. Especially uh, with the tall one. Looks a bit barbaric. But, uh, might be a good lay. So, if you weren't present and he didn't bring you up, I don't see why you would be involved at all. Hmm. I see where the confusion may arise. I, I do believe that he is only here by his involvement with me. And so thus I had concerns that I might be looped in with him, as it were. As I was looped in when I was brought back to our homeland. Hmm. Not unless you were looped in in conversation. Then I thank you, Lord, for your time. And uh, then this will give another bow. And um, I guess he'll offer up... Um, uh, Very the... careful here, bud. <laughs> oh, giving a gift is not the problem, right? Because if I'm offering something up... Leave the tall it's one. Very... I'm sorry? <laughs> I don't believe I heard you correctly. Mm -hmm. Leave the tall one. We'll bring him back when we're done with him. As you will. <laughs> Alright. Yudi understood understand that me? This, right? That's you. Yes, James. that is you. <laughs> yeah, that's you. <laughs> that's hey, you, James. Potentially drugged well. by a smell? Yeah. Oh, well, you don't know what language they're talking because you don't speak silver. <laughs> No idea what they're saying. But I, so but neither I of us can do shit. We don't speak. So language. what you what you do it, notice though is that Themis releases. <laughs> wait, but um, mm -hmm. before he releases him, mm -hmm. if it pleases you, however, I had planned on offering my lord the gift of uh, one of my own creations, um, mm -hmm. a potion that was at the core of why I was brought here, I believe. Um, <clears throat> used for turning water into wine. I believe you might find this quite funny in certain circumstances. I do believe... So you're the one who did that. Malachi was telling us about this adventurous little um, servant he had that played around with some sort of dwarven contraption or other. Something had to do with wine. Well, while I am most happy for the praise, I most certainly did not engage in links of bondage with this Malachi, as pleasant as he was. Hmm. That's a shame. You really should. I am sure that <laughs> it would be quite the adventure. But I must... Uh, I have my own business to take care of. Well, that sounds like a fair trade, I suppose. Would be a wee bit disproportionate if I were to take this uh, uh, unkempt looking fellow off your hands for a bit. Yes, I was 
<clears throat> intending to keep him for myself, I was, <laughs> to be honest. Ooh. Oh. Uh -huh. Well, I mean, at least we're getting something. I'm keeping it. Gross! We shall consider it even. Very gracious of you, my lord. Uh, thank you again for your time. Mm -hmm. Then this will give another bow mm -hmm. and uh, retreat from the <laughs> circle of Bay. Okay, so you are not let go of by Themis, and you are uh, still hooked. <laughs> well, if you want to try and break free, you you have the agency to do that. I just don't think there's quite the uh, motivation for it, but I could be wrong. If there, if it might not be the adventure that you're thinking of. No, I think it's exactly the adventure that he's thinking. <laughs> the the horizontal mambo, as it were. <clears throat> well, the, the fair are all very androgynous, so... Yes. I don't know what your right. personal sexual preferences are, but... We did math and proved that. Yeah, I keep looking at that guy that Alex posted in the Discord, <laughs> and uh, I don't really feel like I want their Slytherin inside me, so... I mean, it, you might be putting what? your Slytherin inside them. You, you never know what's under the clothes with I the fae. Yes, that's a, that's a good point. You didn't see the uh, androgynous folk I posted for Weasden, did you? Mm -mm. Is it pinned, maybe? No, it's definitely not pinned. No. I'll be happy to upload it again, because androgyny is beautiful. So, uh, you, uh, you eventually move your way back and uh, extricate yourself. Eventually, we'll say that the effect of the music fades on Yelrum. Who uh, had a good time, but kind of feels like there might be more fun to be had. Maybe next time he visits, maybe without this overly cautious, wild-haired elf-looking fellow. Damn elves! All right, so you'll make your way back to Ralgum, who's patiently waiting. Do we even see him? What was his hiding thing? No, that w he did a survival check, so that's not even stealth. Oh, he's not even hiding. Okay. Oh, uh, before we before we leave the um, yes. the clearing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where I is the uh, ferret? <laughs> I I think I have. No, no, no. My ferret is still with Ragum. Uh, I would have probably gotten it back while we were hiding. Probably. Um, what does this do exactly? I thought he I thought he yoked them though. He yoked it at me. Oh, okay. I'm gonna take a piss while you guys are discussing that. Oh, okay. I can't actually this, huh? Oh, God damn it! Is there any way for me to like make it? No, there's no way for me to point out who it is, huh? Actually, no. I look around. I look around you the clearing. Do color, I see a uh... small mark appear on an object or surface? You can. Yeah, yeah. No, don't, 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 do don't it around I, I... the creature if you wanted to. It's only ten. Oh, it's not the range, creature. Though. I just, I just want to find Sibiri. <laughs> So I can point him out to um, right. point her out okay. to Themis. That would be of a greater range than the ten foot range on prestidigitation. So maybe you. Oh no, no, no! Just like point them out with a finger. I was trying to like draw an image or like minor illusion it, and then I realized prestidigitation is not minor illusion. <laughs> so you know, shit yeah, happens. Yeah. Maybe probably not thaumaturgy either. Thaumaturgy won't be able to do it either, no. and I don't have access to that. Well, you can. Uh... You can put a symbol like on the grass fire and be like, look over there by the symbol. But that's. I mean, first thing to find the person, right? Yeah, <laughs> like... yeah that's true. Yeah, so give me a perception check since you're actively looking for her. Big perception. 14. Alright. You are, you are heading back, and you see a, a small little gathering of sprites that look like they're playing with some sort of object. It looks kind of like Hacky Sack. But it looks more like they're tossing around a mum. A like what? That. A mum, the kind of flower. Yeah, flower. Sure. <laughs> sure. I knew that, and it certainly looks like you see Sibiri in there. For whenever Sinod gets back. Ah, I really need to for this next part. Mm -hmm. You certainly do. What does he have that I don't? Um, an understanding of the Fey, you know, general knowledge of this plane, uh, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of his arc now that we're here, you know. It's, what's uh, the, what's the... You, it's you. I see. What was the question? Uh, no, so I'm gonna point over to, like, a small gathering of 
what look like pixies to me. Mm -hmm. be like, on the off chance of uh, sounding like a complete racist against the Fae, I think that is Sibiri, the person that Rauga made a deal with. And I'll just gesture. gesture. Alright, so you see, a, you see a group of, what is pixies, that are playing hacky sack or catch or volleyball or something with what looks like a mum. But because they're so small and delicate, it doesn't really harm the flower itself, other than the fact that it's been uprooted. But, uh, and it seems mm. like well, one of those would be it. They are, they're moving about in quite the uh, kerfluffle, as it were, so it's going to be very difficult to point out a specific one. But uh, they're, they're, they look like they're minor, lesser spirits in the Feywild. And he got this item of his from one of these... Hmm, what do I name them? They're pixies. I guess we can just go with pixies, yeah. And he got his item from one of these pixies. Uh... From what I can gather, yes, unfortunately. Um, I was, how to say, busy dancing. <laughs> ah, intoxicated. <laughs> Yes, because, you know, some warning would have been nice about wisdom saving throws. I mean, uh... Well, I did tell you not to listen. It can be quite enchanting to those who are not used to its, uh, rhythms. Quite. Yeah, yeah um, the old room over here is definitely affected by that. <laughs> by the way. Yes, well... Our dear fellow Raugham seems to have gotten lucky. However, pixies are mischievous, and I worry about where uh, this particular pixie acquired such a such an item, as they are not prone to themselves, as it were. Well, shall we go I ask? Guess. Or, since we are no longer in trouble with the Fae, we should just There's... leave, since we have no other quarrel. <laughs> there really is no need. It's Ragam's problem now. <laughs> he decided to accept gifts, and uh, whether those gifts were his to receive, and whom those gifts previously belonged to, mm -hmm. is no longer our problem. We are not bonded to his favor, as decreed by the, lo by the power of this court. So, if the pixie should come asking favor of Raugham, we are in no way required to aid him, nor are we expected to aid him, and if the person whom that amulet belonged to tracks it down and demands payment for something stolen, then it is not our fault either. I don't see the, I, I don't see the problem. Ragam has taken responsibility for something. This is something to be... to rejoice for! <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, This is a kingly thing he's done. Indeed. Alright, so... Uh, anyway. You'll finish making your way back to Ragam, who's waiting where you left him. Doing whatever it is he's doing. <laughs> right! Now that I've made sure that you're, um... Kerfuffle mm -hmm. um, has no splashback on me and our dear companions here. Um, let us be off. I'm sure you have a kingdom to reclaim and then a favor to repay. And with that, still curiously holding hand, uh, linking <laughs> arms with Yorlin, it's gonna head off into the woods expecting you you to follow uh you will wait for Raugum to follow after whether whether or not Raugum follows is up to him i mean i, I mean sure i guess being a full on okay so you're all gonna head into the woods well i never said that i'm gonna wait for them both to well all three i guess to get slightly further away Right. I'm gonna reach into my bag mm -hmm. and just pull out a sending stone right. and quickly send a message saying in the Feywilds, time works differently here curious how information travels and then put it away and then I'm gonna follow okay 
Oh, uh, give me a d20 roll. I mean, a d100. D20. Excuse me. A d100. A d100. Oh, fuck. Okay, slash r, 1d100. 68. Right. Yeah, you're fine. Your message reads okay. it's intended to target. Cool. All right, so, so you're going to head into the wood. Uh, someone else now can roll a 1d10. Sure. Mine was pretty good last time. Oh, the hey, that's no choice. <laughs> the illusion of a choice. <laughs> yeah, it's DM's choice. D. All right, I'll do it. Okay. R one D ten. Somebody took the lead there. Five. A five. What have we here? Okay. So you are suddenly your knees don't work. So you're, <laughs> you're Rogue um, has PTSD. Yeah, 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 Rogue, having yeah. a pan panic attack. <laughs> the walls are closing <laughs> in. I can't see. I can't <laughs> breathe. <laughs> so you head into the back into the woods uh, with. Uh, see, it feels like the small little bits of uh, foliage and, and maybe the little bits of fauna seem to be the same as they were the first time you came by, so you're pretty confident you're headed in the correct location. Uh, as you are proceeding, it's been maybe 45, maybe, maybe probably close to an hour, so you're nearing the tail end of your journey here. Uh, you hear some, you hear the rustling of leaves, but it's not like, but it's not footsteps, it's more like wind. And you see movement that's off to your uh, 10, 11 o'clock ish or so. Looks like looks like six, maybe a little bit more feet tall. Humanoid figure that's moving. Doesn't seem to be moving their feet though, but they're moving. They're moving towards us. They're they're, they're not going to intercept you. They can probably pass by. Unless you, uh, they can probably pass by without intercepting you. It doesn't look like they're going to meet you. All right, uh, that was just gonna keep heading towards the convergence. Give it a slight glance. Mm -hmm. Does he recognize the figure at all? And uh, as a creature, uh, he would know of. Uh, so you, well, uh, let it get a little bit closer. Uh, you definitely recognize it as it looks like it's another Eladrin. It's certainly got the hair for it. And uh, the elven features that are not sharp enough to be fey, but not soft enough to be elven. Somewhere in the middle, as Eladrin tend to fall. Hmm. Does anyone else want to do anything with this? Or you then, actually... Okay. okay. Yeah, I'll probably stop mm -hmm. and turn towards it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Whatever they want to do before I address it is up to okay. them. Is he is he still holding me? Yes. <laughs> you, it's it's been about an hour. You're more than can welcome I, to have said. Can I pull my can I pull my arm away? Oh. Dramatically. Yeah. Dramatically. Demis, looks a little, <laughs> Demis looks a little put out when he's fine feelings. with it. <laughs> Aww. Okay. Is that all you? I got my own thing going, man. <laughs> Is that the only thing you want to do in the hour? Whatever. Long walk. Huh. Is that a yes? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Anybody want to I'm do just anything for the else? Rat. Any conversation? Any uh, rapid trace? Any questions you guys want to ask? Any, uh, anything else that you want to do in the hour of the past? Any time that Miss looks at me, I'm going to flip him off. And this is most certainly uh, not looking at you as you're at the back of the group. Uh, yeah, that'll be the new standard. I just always assume that. Uh, you're always gonna kind of be jittery a little and just try and fight the urge to take stuff back with him. <laughs> yes, there are quite a few uh, beautiful things to pass by in the forest, that's for sure. I actually had the idea of like a couple of carnivorous plants, but... Mm. Yeah, but like dryads that uh, eat a different kind of meat. <laughs> yes, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give too much away in case you all come back here. But uh, 
I, uh, I, there, are, there are other options on the, on the D10, for sure. So, uh, he'll, he'll uh, this is a, definitely a legend. He's got red hair, very reminiscent of the kind of red that you would see uh, in autumn. He's got a yellow band that's, it's about, uh, it's well past shoulder length, like halfway down his back. He's got a yellow band of hair that you see uh, slowly moves up and down the length of his hair. Uh, he's got on look his own uh, bandolier of what looks like leather uh, cylinders. He's, he's got a cloak that billows out dramatically that is a, uh, a, a, a softer orange. And he's got boots that seem to that that he's hovering, but he's got boots that seem to uh, spew out. It is not a cloak of billowing. No, it's just okay, a regular just cloak sure. that is billowing dramatically because he yeah because he's at the speed he's moving and he's hovering. Uh, so, anyways, the boots seem to kick up red and yellow and orange and brown leaves, even though there's. No, nothing of that color that's around. He'll, uh, he'll, he sees you and he sees that you stopped and he will, he'll sort of lean towards you and you'll watch as his trajectory turns and he'll, uh, approach. Dennis will, uh, mm -hmm. as he approaches, mm -hmm. go in for an embrace. Brother! Really? Brings you out here so far from one of our cities. You, you watch as he comes closer. He's got uh, slightly longer eyebrows that, that that stick out a little bit, kind of like uh, the elves from World of Warcraft, but not nearly as extreme. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, not <laughs> nearly <laughs> as extreme. <laughs> Those are pretty extreme. Yes, they are. They're pretty, like, half That's that. Maybe like a third of that, even. It's not that much. Um, he's also got what looks like russet color eyeshadow on. And he doesn't even miss a he doesn't even miss a beat, and just sort of floats right into your arms. Ah, it's it's so nice to see another Lajan around here. You're kind of cute. Anyways, I'm the Alacritus emissary of Autumn. It's a pleasure to meet you. A pleasure indeed. Themis Malorian of Aisling Itchel. What, uh, what brings you out here into the lands of twilight? Well, you are no doubt aware of the season on Mundus, and the autumn court is in ascendancy, so I get the lovely pleasure and task of running messages back and forth between spring and fall, as we always do. Oh, oh, wonderful, wonderful. I, in fact, I, actually, here, and you watch in his hand, a, 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 there... He opens up his palm, and there's a whole bunch of good berries, one for each person. Where, as a ladrin, you know I'm not going to hold you to this. It's just pure generosity. It's not even a gift. I promise. I graciously, I graciously accept this <clears throat> gift, freely given for my <laughs> companions and I. Of course, it's a wonderful time had by all. A time of harvest. <sighs> Great hair, by the way. Thank you. I I don't hold to any particular season, though I have nothing against all of them. And uh, <laughs> Mrs. Hare will kind of flash between uh, the four colors. So, an Eladrin, an exotic-looking short person, a dwarf with a rain <laughs> a, a dwarf with a rain cloud. That is too funny. I'm gonna have to know exactly what happened to you. And some. Tall, backwoodsman looking type. Like kind of this. dashing, don't you think? You, uh, slightly, yeah. You simply must be the guide, though. There's no chance that any of these people know what they're doing. Oh, yes, uh, we did find ourselves. Well, they found themselves a little lost. <clears throat> but, um, <laughs> we're on our way back to Mundus. So uh, oh, we yeah. all have some business to take care of, as it you were. You had your fill of dance, I assume. <laughs> well, they have. I unfortunately didn't get the pleasure. <sighs> next time, for sure. Yes, next time. 
So, dwarf, who did you piss off? <laughs> <laughs> or was it just your looks? No, our companion here. I'm just gonna, like, have a very grim look on his face. I'm just kind of gruff and just kind of keep myself. Just kind of what yourself? Gruff and keep myself. Oh, okay. So you're not gonna really answer him? Nope. Aww. Not, a, not interested. Have, have you been rendered mute too? What a shame. Gosh. Well, he's a little upset. He may have inadvertently... <laughs> Indebted to himself to one of the spring. Oh, it's always the dwarves. They're so <sighs> unrefined. What? what? I'll show you. <laughs> oh, you're gonna show me. <laughs> I can make you a little bit taller, and then maybe we can actually have some fun. Them so giggle very uncharacteristically. <laughs> <laughs> And a backwoodsman in the woods. You're uh, you're a bit more rough and tumble than the other ones, J James. Not your type. I didn't say that. It's just you don't seem to like the fun that's had around here. Although you might like the predatory elements. Maybe well, you, for how hard I dance, mm -hmm. I must, I must just be a little tired and. I'm spoken for. And perhaps you. Oh, you're spoken for. Oh. That sounds like that sounds like somebody's finally enjoyed the pleasures of being the prey. <sighs> Only sometimes. And this one is, and he's gonna lean in very close to you, Yudi, as close as you're gonna oh. let him. I will fucking Eskimo kiss this half elf if I fucking have to. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he I'm not in. backing down. This mother. Oh, please, please, please call him a half elf. Old. Twenty. Fuck this guy. Please call him a half elf. Please. Oh, I want. Geez. I want it to happen. Hmm. No, I'm not gonna be racially charged in the actual game. <laughs> I just hate elves in person. Yeah. Oh jeez. I well, have such curious eyes, but no ears to back it up. And and he's gonna lean very close in, almost to the point where your noses are touching, and then he's going to angle over and sniff right around where your shoulder and neck meet. And you smell off. Sometimes... How do I smell off? Man of the Fae. Elijah driven I was. You don't, you don't smell quite normal. What's, oh. your, what's your secret? Or do you not want to tell me? Ah... Uh... I, I think, honestly, right now, you might know a little bit more than I do about this. Well, I, I would honestly smell. appreciate I can tell you that much. any help you could give me. Uh, okay. Okay, it's not help. a good smell. Sure. He watches the That's, that's his... information. I don't care. <laughs> I, don't, I don't care for it. In fact, and he watches he rubs his hands together, and, a, a, and you watch as sticks start to appear in his hands, and, and he finishes rubbing, and he holds out... A bundle of cinnamon sticks, or a faggot, as some might call it, and hands it to you. That should help with the smell. I'll take it. <laughs> I'll look him in the eye, put a hand on his shoulder, and say, "If this gift is freely given, I thank you, good sir." Yes, of course it's freely given. That was nothing. That was. Nothing. <laughs> I got like five more levels above that. I'm pretty fantastic. So you're all going back. So you're all going back to Mundus. Do you want to come to the Autumn Court instead? We're we're in ascendancy. Hmm. And this will raise an eyebrow at Yudi as if almost remembering something, but not mm -hmm. quite. And uh, look to his companions. Well, it's up to you if you feel that uh, your stay with the spring was enough then we can press on otherwise my brother here has invited us to join the autumn court for a time no we'll go home <laughs> <laughs> all sleepy chilly well <clears throat> vote nay for the dwarf what about the humans among oh, us it's a democracy how exciting 
I've never seen this in practice before. Well, well it's... Uh, first. Who is first? <laughs> it, democracy is a word. It's I'm a technically word. the only way they have out of here, so... <laughs> ah. Don't you love it when you hold all the cards? It is delightful, isn't it? Verily. I'm adding one face in it, by the way, to my character sheet. <laughs> one face in it. Nice. <laughs> He gave me a few sticks. I, I'm just yeah. calling a face cinnamon because I don't know how many sticks he gave me. No, it'll be like seven or eight. Ah, uh, okay. You know what? Fuck it. Seven or eight. It'll, it'll be wrapped in a in a in a red ribbon. I'll go with seven. It'll have it'll have it won't just be cinnamon smell though. It'll be a little bit of wrapped. clove and cardamom, a little autumn fla autumn scents and flavors, as it were. And you can you can all smell it now. It's quite strong, like potpourri <laughs> strength. <laughs> Anyways. <clears throat> This man essentially just said, I smell weird as a human because I was wrong and then threw cinnamon at me that he conjured out of nothing. Yes. I, I'm i good to, like, leave this plane of existence as soon as you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, that's two. I suppose at the most we could have a tiebreaker, but... All right. Many miles to go before we sleep. Uh, yes. Yorlin, any particular preference? You do count as more than one vote, and Themis will just kind of oh, give boy. a flirtatious shrug. Oh bullshit! Fuck you. <laughs> Themis has <laughs> as as a uh, fuck. What, what was his name again? Who? When? Uh, the the Eladrin. What was his name? The Alacritus emissary of the Autumn Court. His name is as Vemble. The Alacritus Emissary of the Autumn Court? Correct. As the Emissary has said, but, um, you do have a certain... <laughs> I, I hold all the cards. <laughs> Were I to decide to indulge an answer to with my brother, who are you to stop me, really? <laughs> Emis is ve acting very... He's, he's almost bubbly. He's, he's happy and very... Unserious, which is uncharacteristic for for him. Must if be you've the been paying attention. Must be the cinnamon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So James, what do you vote? Stay or go? Talia. <laughs> Talia. Yeah. Talia. What about her? So, so am I speaking in character or in? You're going to be in character. Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Well, as a wise person once said, some parties are not meant to be danced. And honestly, you've been acting kind of like a dick lately, so I will follow that. <laughs> what? <laughs> Who's been acting all like of the a keys, dick? As you put it so well. Uh, uh, who's been oh acting, dear. Who's been acting what like a shame. dick? Just shame. I don't know, it's character. Well. Oh, that was out of character? I will say. No, that How's the feast going at the moment? And he's looking very interested. <laughs> mm -hmm. We are just getting started. All the good stuff is still there. Oh, I know. It's been I so know. long since I, pretend to I just participated in Autumn Feast. Uh, uh, autumn is the best season. I've always said it. <laughs> well, you're, you have some good points in, in favor of it, that's for sure. Oh, so tempting. So tempting. Well, if you don't, if you three don't want to participate, I'm sure you don't mind waiting here for a little while. Oh, jeez. Seriously? <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> and then uh, he will place his hand on his focus. Just not at all. Can I punch him in the face? I'm kind of you want to punch Themis? Roll an attack. <laughs> Holy fuck, okay, there's a lot of PvP recently. I'm just gonna throw that out there. There didn't used to be. Roll an attack. He's pissing me off. Just saying. Just saying. Who knew that Demis was gonna fall for the first bubbly little. Well, he hasn't seen his friends in quite a while. That's an 18. That yeah, that, that hits. Alright. Uh, what's your strength modifier? Oh, it's three, isn't it? Three. Three, yeah. Alright, so three points of damage. As well Wait, just is the hard. damage you deal just your strength modifier? Uh, unarmed is... I think it's technically 1d4, but I don't... 
No, I don't think I want to go that far unless Rob uh, really does. No, I'm just, you know. It's a minimum of one. So. Oh, okay, because I was going to say, I mean, my modifier for strength is negative one, so. <laughs> yeah, it's a minimum <laughs> of one. Negative damage. Oh, well, that was entirely uncalled for. Really, no, sir. Uh, honestly. No. And then Rockham's just, so uh, Demis is just gonna pull out a dagger, slice his forearm, and, um... Oh, jeez. Ah! What are you? What are you people doing? He had it coming. Yes. Fuck him, and I'm just gonna turn and walk away. You know, so Rockham's gonna you slice his forearm, okay. and as you try to walk, mm -hmm. um, he's gonna cast... I just punched you. That's all That's all I care about. Yeah, that's... Yeah, you just... Yeah. Fucking instigated. Uh, all right. <laughs> we call it? Enough. To, like I'm, I'm getting fed up with Ragum just being able to punch people and everybody just shrugging it off. So I mean, I, I mean, cast. To be fair, like I did cast Toll of the Dead and deal like mega damage <laughs> to Ragum <laughs> last week. So I ain't gonna say shit, my guy. Uh, I got steal from her last time. Uh, yep. I remember that. Six. Uh, Wait, and then, yeah. Were so, you, when he was next are you were still you walking away? Like yes. Huh? Are you still walking away? I planned on it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I... okay. You take six damage. Well, okay. Oh, whopping six damage. <laughs> Jeff, I'm not, I'm not even flinched. Are you still walking away? Wait, Wait what? Are you still walking away? Chills. Takes 1d8 necrotic damage if it makes more than one melee attack or ranged attack during its turn. Or move. Where does it say or move? Or move, yeah, where? It doesn't say or move. Oh, that is true. Wrong yeah. curse. My bad. Yeah. Wrong so curse. Fuck you. There yeah. you go. Yeah, fuck you. Alright, so are you still walking away? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go get comfortable and wait for his. for his. what is it? Per uh, wait for his horny ass to, like, be, have, fill his needs so he can go home. Okay. I'm still clear. So I'm still you, uh, you take a I'm slash at Ralgum and he doesn't flinch and continues to walk and then plops down by a tree trunk. Fair Loaded, enough. by the way. I, I, I gotta tell you, if I just discovered you guys and you started doing this, I'd be so gone. <laughs> I think yeah. Yolrum is quite the trooper for sticking around. <laughs> well, that's taken care of. He's such a bore. You two are ridiculous. And you hurt yourself. Oh, it's nothing. It happens all the time. If you do look closely, there's quite a few scars on, on Themis's forearm. Oh, that's not kosher. That's not Hawaii. <laughs> regen. I need to do the ring of regen. Uh, so I, he I heal in 20 minutes. Okay. Did you go. take damage? Yeah, I took yeah. six, five damage, yeah. Oh yeah, so you did. Yeah, so I'm fully healed in twenty minutes. <laughs> well, so you know, so you are heading back. So you know, there's a convergence that's like twenty minutes back there. Well, that was where we're heading, but uh, since he's so uncouth, I'm. I was thinking of maybe stopping by the the autumn court. It's so beautiful this time oh, of year. What a good idea! What an what a what a uh, what an attractive idea you just had there. Of course, I, I don't want to be trapped there. I love the food, but last time I got into a, uh, mm -hmm. shall we say, situation with the court, it was quite a bind, shall we say. Uh, oh, well, I hope you had a safe word. <laughs> I, um, he's going to, he's going to look up at the sky, which you can barely see through the tree canopy. Well, Salathan hasn't run by yet, so I've got a little bit more time. I suppose we could, uh, go for a walk? Mm. Or at the very least, uh, go back, or, or I, sh I, I really can't go back to the Autumn Court until I make this delivery anyways, but... Hmm. I guess we could go for a walk, but, uh... <laughs> Ah, uh, poor mortals. I know. Well, so unfortunate. just sit tight, don't touch anything, and uh, don't anger the forest, will you? 
I'll be back in like another hour. Less than eh, come on, an hour. It takes an hour to fuck. <laughs> oh, 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 you're really doing that? that. No. Okay. okay. Well, no, okay, then no. no. You can make Is it a quickie uh... or what's the game yeah. plan here, huh? Yeah, yeah I, I guess, guess it's. Well, well, do a, uh, do a constitution, constitution check. We'll see how long it is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. 13, over, above average. Above average, yes. Above average, all right. So, uh, you, uh, I'll, I'll let you set the time for it, as long as it's, well, it's not going to be an hour, obviously. We'll, we'll go for, yeah, well. Can he do two? Can he do two? <laughs> I'll go for a walk for uh -huh. maybe 25 minutes, <laughs> swing by the autumn court, maybe, if we get the time. Yes, yes, you know, swing around. Wait, what the fuck do you mean 20 minutes? Time doesn't flow here, right? Time is strange here. Time flows here. in the Feywild, but when you return, it's different. Oh, it's, okay. It's, it's it just flows the in the Feywild, but it's just weird. It's called a plot device. Ah, yes, that makes more sense now. See, now that you've said that, it explains it to me very much more clearly. Yes. It's it's just weird. No, it's a plot device. It's, it's what Striffy said. Yeah. It's ba it's basically what Striffy decides it is. <laughs> so it could feel like I've been gone for 45 minutes or four days. Uh, yeah. Uh, no. uh, I'm going to plop down and start ritual casting some shit. Okay. Alright, so you, uh, <sighs> you go off with Vemble, the Alacritus emissary. And it, turn, it turns out he's Alacritus in all the right ways. Mm. So you, uh, uh, an excellent time is had by all. <laughs> you want to play with the weasel? Yeah, I'll play with the weasel. Uh, you can. Uh, he he's not going back to the Autumn Court until he delivers his message. message. His missives uh, to yes to the. Uh, Spring Court. So if you want to wait around for him to come back, you're more than welcome to. No, I'll but probably just go on a walk with him and talk about going to the Autumn Court. Yes. Okay. And then uh, let things take their natural course. Yes. As you do. Well, classy. And then head back to uh, where yeah. I left them, hoping that they're still there. Well, we will see about that. <laughs> Alright, so you want to do an Arcana check on Convergence. Yeah, but I rolled an 11, so... On what? Yeah, on the Convergence. Mm. But we're not there yet. Right, so... Oh, are we not? Whenever, when no. We're like... You were like another 20-minute walk-ish. Wait, so are we just like in the middle of the fucking... Like, are we just in the middle of nowhere? Yeah! That man just ran into an Autumn guy. Okay, <laughs> and so then as they a player, oh, fuck, as, as we need to go back to as you know, a player, the I will tell you about what the the backstory to this is. Okay, as a uh, player, I'm gonna tell you I have two third level spell slots <laughs> left and fireball equipped. Yes. Well, who rolled the five? That's the problem. Going through, <laughs> you're uh, not wrong. <laughs> going through the. Going between the two worlds is actually not easy for Eladrin because they belong to both, and so it fucks with their heads a little bit, and they become very, how shall we say, mm -hmm. uh, passionate, un, mm, no, not unpredictable, like they're pr like they become bipolar for a little bit as they go through the the convergences. <laughs> Just because of the effect the veil has on them, so which is uh, why the Themis has been so strange for this session. This session, <laughs> yes. Well, inconsistent <laughs> is the erratic. word. Inconsistent, erratic. Be the the correct. Uh, erratic works too. Yeah, and it is very much in character. Mm. Sure. <laughs> sure. See, so here's right. the thing. I'm not mad at you as a player. I'm just contemplating killing your character. <laughs> right, right. And so is everyone else in the party right now. Don't get mad, up. get even. Yeah, exactly. Don't <laughs> get mad, get even. That's, that's, that's beautiful. <laughs> right, so. Themis returns after his walk. Looking, uh, pleased with himself. But draggled. <laughs> and but draggled. He's got crazy hair, man. It's just all over the place. It's, it's back to white, though. It's yes, yeah, sure. Back to its usual white. 
there you go. So, he returns, you finish your trip uh, to the Convergence. You study... Actually, your... can't get laid is false here, because I just did. <laughs> She's right. talking about real life. Oh, because she's. I can to go get laid. I just don't want to. Because COVID. Well, that and because fuck, my hand is so much better in most cases. Wow. It's come on. It's true. Uh, no. Most of us can do a better <laughs> job ourselves than no. other people than other people uh, can. Oh boy, there's there's some disagreement in this voice chat, but. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> we clearly don't know how to masturbate properly. Whoa. Though. That's All a serious right. accusation. Are we playing this? Oh, it's purple glass. Or we're, or, 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 or we're in the context that I'd rather uh, eat the pussy, as you'd put it, than jerk the meat. I mean, I uh, like. Oh, I tuned out oh. for a second, came back to the Discord, and heard "jerk the meat" as the first thing back. <laughs> <laughs> I got like a quick catch up I'm, of what happened. I'm a, I'm a fan of I'm a fan of both personally. Mm. So. I'm not mm -hmm. claiming that he can jerk his meat better than anyone else can, and I am stating that I would rather eat pussy than jerk my meat. Thank you. Aw, chilly. <laughs> you know, you two were actually the closest geographically speaking. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. Jilly. <laughs> Let's so, not give Chili's boyfriend any ideas, eh? Oh. Shh. Chili's gonna do an OnlyFans, all right? And that's just how it is. <laughs> See, the thing is, I like both eating pussy and jerking meat, but when it comes to jerking my meat, I'm the best at it. So. <laughs> well, I, of course, I it only knows <laughs> one master. It's like the one ring. <laughs> True. Ridiculous. True. Can't deny that. Anyway, Themis heads back. Yes, yes. And Themis heads back. <laughs> all heads and the uh, see, sees you and suddenly lurk and looks like he's feeling a little bad Aww. and kind of guilty and Aww. like mm, realizing that maybe he doesn't have as much control over his emotions as he does. But of course, you don't know all of that. You just see that he looks a little. Guilty. He probably feels bad because now he's not in the mood for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Of course. <laughs> right. So you head, you head back. You go, you go to the convergence. You roll your eleven arcana. It's Prize. it's a smaller convergence than, um, but it's. I don't, I don't think it's going to have a school of magic associated with it. I mean, that's that's uh, detect magic, not. Uh, yeah, that's, check, that's, and I'm not casting detect magic, so. Okay. <sighs> it seems it seems to have a, a natural element and place. May, it doesn't seem to be uh, magically tethered or connected to this tr uh, tree trunk or not in the tree trunk. Uh, it seems like it's a king around of its own accord, somehow. Maybe somebody had some sort of effect, but there's no, there's none of the usual telltale signs or structures, or structure, uh, <coughs> or glyphs or sigils or anything. So it's. Uh, do I notice Yudi taking interest in? Yeah, that's at least an action. To to do a check like that. So he's. Okay, so I so I him. notice him taking interest in the convergence. Unless he's trying to hide it. I am not. All right. So Quite yes. interesting, a topic. The convergences. Many of our scholars have written tome upon tome of research about them, but uh, none could really discern what they truly are apart from a thinness between the veils of Mundus and the Feywilds. Uh, you know, as a practitioner of magic, you could probably create one with enough experience, though from what I've heard, it's quite expensive. Yudi will just look completely enraptured with the uh, convergence, slowly reach a hand out, almost like he was going to touch it, and then stop right before he does and say, these tomes, this research you speak, where would this be found? <sighs> then it's, we'll just give a melancholic sigh, and uh, 
Well, once upon a time, I had a tower full of them, but... Alas. Uh, I'm sure if we visited my home city, there would be library upon library of research on the topic, but, uh... You all seem to have, uh... Taken the wrong impression of my homeland, which... In all honesty, I can't blame you for. There may be some research in the elven homelands, but it is likely not to be as in-depth as my people would have. Are we uh, heading gone. anywhere near the elven homelands? Eventually, probably. You're headed straight north. I don't remember the map. I have to. That would be it. away from the elves, right? Mm, it's pretty much equidistant, actually. The elves are over in the Russia area. Ah, the elves are Russian. That's that makes sense. Oh, no, they are not. That Russian. makes sense. <laughs> Stop right there. That makes sense. No. Oh yeah, we are. Actually, Whoa, wait, where okay. are we heading? You're headed to Daltarum, the the southernmost city. Yeah, but in the like in, in in IRL, Scandinavia. Where, where Scandinavia. Uh, whatever the oh, we might actually go part. through them. We might yeah. actually go through them. We definitely won't be going to the capital. Through the but... edge. Uh, Sweden. You're going to be headed to the southernmost tip of Sweden. Svea. Uh, yeah, we might be me go, go, yeah, we might be going through the elven homelands. Yeah, we'll okay. probably just clip the corner of it. One day, if you wish, uh, I can bring you to my home, and you can do all the research you like. I'll hold you to that. Themis will just raise his eyebrows and turn back to the Convergence. It is quite beautiful, though, isn't it? Actually, Yudi doesn't it. say another word. He just keeps staring at the Convergence. Actually, I want to make it uh, the southernmost point of Norway, not Sweden. Southernmost point of Norway? Yeah. So you can get right up to the mountain range. Unlike Svea. Anyways, so yes. Well, I'll turn to the rest of the group. This is our ticket home. I'll let you go through. I'm sure you don't want to be stranded here in case it closes unexpectedly before mm -hmm. after I've gone through. So if you all want to go to the same location, you should probably hold hands. And uh, have similar thoughts, I suppose. Back to the train. Back to the train. Have similar thoughts? I'm sorry, what the fuck does that mean? You, you imagine the happiest thing. <laughs> <laughs> cookies and cookies and fucking candy, man. Think of think of Can I really know? Think of oh. hmm? well, you I mean, don't know. Yeah, you don't know about so. the train, do you? So. Mm. Uh, yes, so. uh. Wish me luck. Wish me luck. All right, that was it. James isn't playing with us anymore. All right. Think, hey, okay, think strongly Once of the again. location you wish to go to. If you wish to join us, Yorlin, I know you said you were a mercenary. Um, we don't have anything to pay you, I'm afraid. I, I'm not looking for the services of a hired sword, as it were. But if you wish to join us, simply imagine yourself with us on the other side. Wait, this man's a Viking, right? Ish. Yes. What town are we going to? You're going back to the train, you're headed up to a dwarven city. Yes. Where is the train heading? Because if it's heading more or less towards Scandinavia, maybe he's been... To the maybe southern he could... point of... Norway, like I, that I said. Well then, That's Mr. Weird. Viking Man, have you been to the southern tip of Norway? And it's been many years since territory. By the way. Yeah, you know what? Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just let DM work his magic. I'm, I'm just gonna... What is what now? What am I doing? Nothing. Failure was thinking that maybe uh, Yorlin was a shortcut to the to Delta room. He's no, I was thinking you. maybe because we couldn't TP with him into the train, maybe. He could meet us at our destination if he's been. Well, I, I said I that how he should we, imagine we himself move? with us on the other side if he wanted to join us. Alright, let's see if that works. Indeed. All right. So you'll uh, you'll you'll go in one by one. It's a it's a bit of a squeeze, but you manage it. You'll all pop back into what you what you what is a familiar setting. 
of a train, train car. car. Uh, you can dust yourself off. There's a little, little bit of uh, golden moats. And you look around. There's two things you notice. First thing is you're not moving. Second thing is that there ain't nobody in this car. It's a lounge uh, car, so there probably should be. It's a good thing nobody saw you just magically pop in here. But on the other hand, why is there nobody in this car? Are we at a station? You only see rock out of the window. And this will just kind of look out the window. <laughs> you see rock. <laughs> Looking very... Wait, didn't uh, you turn all the water into wine? So we wouldn't... Yeah, but none of you know that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, we true. were just assailed by like a mist he, he, and then got TP'd. He didn't, he didn't even, even tell, tell the fave that he was going up front to do it. it. And, and he, he was, was supposed, supposed to. He definitely didn't tell you guys. guys. All right, so uh, Yalrum, you find yourself on a train car, which is curious because you've never been on it before. It's got the very uh, strong, exaggerated architectural lines of dwarven stylings. Uh, it, it, there are seats that are in like very kind of in semicircles. Uh, I got I got pictures of train stuff that I will post actually of what you would see in a lounge car uh, but uh, this as far as you know you just look out the window and you see uh, rock it seems like you're in a room surrounded by rock <laughs> you holy shit why do I have two grand and nobody said nothing about it to you for nothing what is that I don't want yeah so, kind of like this, since there's no dwarven train interiors, frustratingly enough. Everything's a little smaller. Yeah, yeah made, 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 for, made, for, made for shorter, made for for shorter, shorter people, you kind of got to stoop a little bit. Because everyone knows dwarves are the proper height. height. Right? This, this, one's, this, this one's actually kind of perfect. perfect. With the, uh, semi circle Just suit. fine. She said you're just so, fine. That's, that's what, that's pretty, pretty much what you see when you pop in. Uh, you're, you're all standing, standing except for Robin, Robin who's sitting, sitting down on a sofa. Thank God. <laughs> the <God. God. laughs> What well, would you have done with that sofa, huh? <laughs> It's a, it's a cushy landing. Cheers to you. Alright, gang, spread out and look for clues. Yeah, yeah clues is I'll, why. I'll look for clues as I'm walking back towards my cart. <laughs> towards my car. Alright, All right, which, which way, way are you going? going? Uh, <laughs> my car. Okay, okay which, which way, way is your, your car? car? You just got plopped plop down in the middle of the train, train car. car. You don't know which way is which. which. I'm gonna go. Oh, uh, yeah. oh, there, there could be a map. map. I'm just, just messing, messing with you. Considering you had first class, probably nearer to the front, huh? Right. Yeah. Which, which way is the front? front? Oh, you, you can, can see, see is, uh, rock. You don't know which, which way is the front. front. Okay, but um, we've been on this I'm, train before, yes? Yes. Maybe, maybe not in the car. Anyways, there's, there's a map. map. Didn't Ralcom literally walk to the end of the train and back up? Okay, okay fine. fine. You, you can make an intelligence check. Okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just giving you shit at this point. Like, uh, uh, bail I'm bailing the challenge. Why are you giving me shit? You should, should be helping me get chilly shit. shit. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah. True. So, so you start, start, you start walking, you're like, you're, you're very confident, confident in the, the direction. direction. So, so Robin starts walking towards his first class car that he got. Yudi walks the other direction. Okay, Yudi starts walking towards the back of the train. Party's splitting up. I guess. Who else? And this will look around. Hmm. No questions, no discussion. Typical. And uh, Themis will head back to his car, I guess, because yeah. nobody's saying to discuss anything. Um, Yorlin, if you'd like, you can stay in my car. I don't need as much sleep as mortals. Uh, oh, at that, I, Yudi will turn oh. around and be like, I would like to not die, please. Can I get someone with a sword? <laughs> Can I get 
come with me, Yudi. No, you come with me? What the fuck? We gotta explore the train! <laughs> You're just heading upwards! I mean... Oh, because the train's empty. Fuck. Yes, exactly, because the train is fucking empty out of nowhere. Hmm. Well, it's not just that, you know, when you visited. Yep. This is a strange turn of circumstance, isn't it? What do you think happened? I think they got teleported to the Feywilds. And I think we're gonna fucking pillage the shit out of this place. Hey, well, that's an idea. That's unlikely, go. as <laughs> we all appeared in the Court of Spring, and no one else was with us, so I doubt they were all taken as we were. Ah. Didn't they all just die from the purple mist, or...? Well... Which I still don't know what is. Purple mist, you say? <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was almost a... wine color. It was, it was this... fruity, almost... almost slightly tannic... smell. It had, it had notes, notes of, of lava, lava rock, rock and, and pomegranate. pomegranate. <laughs> <laughs> strangely, strangely, some charcoal as well. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah it's, it's a very, very earthy, earthy wine. A smell. Ish. Yeah. Hmm. That is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I don't, I don't recall this mist, um, but if it did flood the train, as you say, it did. Then perhaps wow. the people were evacuated. Uh, can I look around and check if there's any, like, symbols of a rush, maybe? Not, not like, a struggle, but, like, a hasty... Departure? Yes. Words hard. Uh... Yes, words are hard. English is my third language. Dick hard. Yeah, yeah, there's... There doesn't seem to be much disturbed in the way. There are glasses that are on the counter on the bar uh, but they're not tipped over or anything they're they're kind of order organized a little bit some of them still have some drink in them i'm um, gonna go look for signs of life there's no broken windows nothing's torn up there's not like shoes or clothing on the uh, floor but is there a strange odor there's a, there's a slight odor of, of wine <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I'd have to say it's probably not completely gone. There's not. Uh, it's not like there's going to be a breeze that passes through here underground or anything. So, yeah, you could get a, a little scent of wine. So, Ragum's headed to the front. Yudi's headed to the back. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, okay. Them and Swag. I would both like of them. Both quarters. Person with please. Follow uh, Yudi. Okay, Thomas goes with Yudi. I agree that pillaging sounds interesting. I, the, the Viking wants to pillage, and there's a surprise. Of course I do. In other I'm news, the sky is blue. Mm -hmm. okay. Grass is blue. Okay, the sky is blue. We don't even sky know the raider. So Ragum's going to go through mm -hmm, two, maybe three cars, and then you will encounter a dwarven steward. Okay. Oh! Ready. Alright, did you, uh, you forget something or anything? Actually, I was just wondering what happened where everybody went. I must have fallen asleep, I had too much to drink the previous night. You fell asleep? Well, you missed a shit ton of occurrences, didn't you? Alright, so, uh, the engine kind of exploded, uh, oh. and then the people started to freak out because then it started to produce this purplish haze. Mist, fog, whatever it is. I don't know. Still don't know, actually. Uh, we pretty much leaped into the Vox and Excavations, which is where we normally stop to get our water and shite. Uh, most of the people have been taken off the train to stretch their legs, have a walk around, maybe look at the uh, archaeology that's around here. Not much of a fan for, for myself. Uh, there was a bit of a panic, so I. Uh, there's some cleaning up to be doing anyways, I figured I might as well take charge of that a bit. 
That's kind. We sent for a mage to uh, take a look at the engine and an engineer. Uh, they were oh. here. They had to go. They uh, teleported back to Markarth to get some parts to uh, fix this a bit back up. We still have to flush most of the engine itself. I see. So it's going to be a few more hours before we Do get back underway. I see. Do they have any idea of who may have caused it? Not a single clue. It's nobody just saw no, it. Nobody saw shite. The engineers were all gabbing and yakking. Don't we even know how it could have possibly got in there. It's not like... We're, we, the water's in a tender car. It's probably nobody's gonna nobody's gonna be able to really get to that. I don't know how it suddenly went from that to be filled with wine. It's got to be some sort of magic, but you know, who knows? Uh, well, really, that's out, that's out of my hands. That's that's way above me, if you know uh, what I mean. When when we get into uh, Daltorum, we'll we'll certainly have to somebody take a look at it. Let's try to uh, do some sort of backtracking or something. So this doesn't happen again. At the very least, I'm very sorry for the inconvenience, of course. Uh, oh, if, oh no, I I know it's not your fault. I'm just merely curious. If, if I've you, been enjoying the luxury of this wonderful train. The uh, the train itself is parked by the watering tower. If you head up to like the first or second cars that are attached, you should find yourself right on the platform for an easy disembarking. If you're uh, Interested in going for a walk? Wonderful. I'm assuming there'll be some sort of bell or alarm letting us know when the, the train's about to. Oh, of course, oh, of course, of course. We got a big old whistle on the thing. We'll let people know for sure. Wonderful. Wonderful. Um, I think there are some other people kind of wandering in the opposite direction. You might want to might want to send someone to kind of track them down before they get you know, <sighs> too far away from the platform. If you know what I mean. They might be a little dazed or confused. We're still on the train, though. So wrong, it's not true. That's just what Ragam's saying. It doesn't, okay. doesn't have to yeah. be true. It's just what Ragam's yeah, saying. Yeah, no, true, 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 <laughs> valid, true. He's not going to do a... Uh, he's not going to do an inside check on that. There's no reason he has no reason to. Oh, there's more people. Of course there are. Those, mm. uh, those silent spells on the sleeper cars, probably. Should have yeah. been turned off. All right, there's uh, there's a couple other of us stewards wandering around. I'll send someone back in a minute. Wonderful. Cares. Uh, and uh, he'll go back to his uh, cleaning up, tidying up, all sorts of stuff. You'll uh, presumably head up to the one of the first of the two cars and make your way yep. off the train. Yep. Okay. All right, so we're going to head off the train. So, the three of you... <laughs> <laughs> Yay. ...are going to head down back through the uh, the rest of the lounge cars. You're going... There's going to be a, probably a dining car, maybe two. Uh, as you head back through the dining car, if you want to take any of this flatware or anything else like that, you, you can just swipe it. <laughs> do they have silverware? Uh, they do. I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> oh, you totally should. <laughs> that must be expensive for you too. You know, there's a there's gonna be at least a uh, decanter of endless water. Oh, somewhere in there, if you're interested. Because they, they see that, I am that. kind of interested in how how large is that? It's just it's a decanter, it's like a carafe, uh, maybe like a large, maybe like a two liter bottle size. Liter and a half, something like that. There's no way for me to really hide that, is there? Mm, one of you, we should all have bags, and one of you has a bag of holding, so. I do. Mm. You have places to stuff it. Hint, you, hint. you can strap it to your thigh with an extra belt, for all I care. I mean, you you but know you that Themis has a bag of holding. This is the first I'm hearing about it out of character as well. <laughs> it it it's got it's gotten retconned because I had a discussion with Shrifty. Mm, yes, he sent a nude. It was taste ah. it was tasteful, so we got a free magic item. I see. Really. No, it, it wasn't was a, just a dick pic. It was so a misunderstanding. Any, so. so is there any particular mm -hmm. item still in said bag of holding? <laughs> No, it's it's, 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 it's not. It's not Talia's. Bag of it's not Talia. Yeah, Talia I, did not give 
Themis is her yeah. bag of holding. I thought well, that's not? what he meant. That's why I said no, but he meant a different ma- a different bag of holding. So that's fine. Damn. I thought he meant Talia just handed him the bag of holding. I'm like, no, she didn't. <sighs> but anyways, okay. So you're going through the dining cars. As you get to the kitchen cars, you do hear some noise, some rattling around. <coughs> Dishes, so we're not hands. stealing anything? I mean, we're not stealing anything of value. <laughs> we're not stealing anything of value. Okay, I want this paperweight, god damn it. No, of low value. Oh, of I'm low looking for value. something oh, a little okay. bit more right. yeah. okay. high reward. Uh, unless you're going to stop, there are some dwarves that are in the kitchen cars that are bustling about, regardless of whether or not they are on the train, people still have to eat. So, ah, they, they so I feel like now we probably know that they didn't just all magically disappear. Correct. Okay. But unless so, you're going to interact with them, they're probably just going to ignore you. All right. And I'm going to look at uh, Themis. Half elf, your call. <laughs> Themis is thoroughly offended. Mm hmm. I am sure I have no idea what you're talking about. Surely. Or who you're talking to, for that matter. <laughs> of course, of course. You simply responded out of nowhere. He said with a smile. Well, you did look at me. Ah. Uh, that's it. That's the entire response. Okay. You just goes, ah. Okay. Uh. <laughs> so that was no particular uh, direction or well, motivation here. In the off and offending case in which you were addressing me, what exactly is my call? Well, you see, I wanted to rob this train because I thought the people had disappeared. However, looking ahead, we see that there are other people here. Dwarves. Mm-hmm. Faculty of the train, right? Mm-hmm. So, if we can safely assume that the train's servicemen are here, we can probably assume that the passengers which, as you so helpfully pointed out earlier, did not come with us to the Feywilds, they're probably here too. So, do you want to sneak through their rooms and take what they might have left? Which would almost have to be the first-class ones, because I'm doubting there's going to be any value in the sleeper cars. Up to you. That's still raise an eyebrow. <laughs> well... Oh, shit. I'm having a thought here. Have a thought. That. that is that is worrisome. <laughs> continue, continue. Um, I certainly have the capacity to uh, carry off any spoils, but are you so short on funds that we must resort to theft? Not that I have any. Are you so short like, on curiosity like, that you would no. not, you would not feel the need to know what is hidden within the walls of your other first-class accommodations? Hmm. To find a compromise, what if we speak to the attendants that are here to find out more information? Well, you see, find that's not exactly if... a compromise. That that slants it completely in one direction. If they know we're here, they'll know we took it. Unless we're just gone by the time they realize that it's been taken. We still need to be on the train to get to where we need to be, though. Hmm. Well, how about this? Let's head, let's head back to my cabin and I can sit and we can discuss. I am very much for this idea. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not particularly opposed to theft. I simply believe that the risk is a little elevated. I, Wouldn't you? I, the risk is only measured by the rewards. Uh, fuck, I was going to call you Sin on there. <laughs> <laughs> the risk is only measured by the reward, Themis. All I'm asking is that we find out what the rewards could be. I see. Fuck. And who did you intend to sell off these misbegotten goods to? I didn't. I wanted to see if there was anything I wanted. Oh, Not so everything you're... is about gold, Themis. I see. So you don't intend to sell anything that you find and, and keep? Well, I mean, nothing that I want. 
Well, I'm not in any particular need for anything, but I suppose I can humor you on this. First stop, I have Ralgo's room. <laughs> <laughs> Did Ralgo leave anything there? No. Damn. So that's what, five, ten minutes? No. <laughs> yeah. It doesn't take much. Yeah, we could just head back to my room. Cool. Cool, cool. You need just keep in mind what happened last time y'all went to his room. I hope you What right. happened last time we went to his room? Snow I fed like, both of you in direction like of a shirt. Hey, with directions. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, that was exciting. All right, so we uh, might not like Themis's plan for if you get caught still on the train. Shit, I can literally blink, my guy. Ooh, Satan. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you're... but if a bunch of shit disappears and we're the few people that are still on the train, it's kind of not hard to put two and two together. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. I'm just not gonna be on the train when that happens. <laughs> Or you could be um, implicated in an orgy that was going on, or a three-way that was going on in uh, one of the first class passengers' cabins. I'm completely fine with this. Yeah, what's the problem? Let's see. What, where's the downside? That's disgusting. Is it though? <laughs> what part of it is disgusting, Jilly? Please, do tell. <laughs> She doesn't know. She no, doesn't please, know. I, I, I'd love to hear about it. You just throw yourselves at whoever will fuck you, won't you? <laughs> that's kind of what Sinon does, yeah. Yeah, you know, that's what men IRL do. IRL and in-game, in yes. That's what men do, Chili. If you're gonna play a male dwarf, you need to get on board with this. Oh, right, yeah, this is the male dwarf that didn't know how his, uh, how his boner worked last. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes, Viagra. <laughs> Alright, so you'll uh, you'll head back to Themis' room. You'll pass a few other first class cabins. And Themis we'll, will gesture we'll, at them. And a few uh, stewards, a few stewards as well. Ah. Until you are uh, sequestered in his in Themis' room. So uh, we see. Yeah, how before we head in, I'm gonna do a quick scan around and just make sure like I, I wanna check to see if there's any attendance. In the first class carts? No, there are none in the first class cars. Uh, Fuck, I kinda wanna kinda wanna know how long we're gonna be stopped here. But I have no way of telling. Well you could ask an attendant. Yeah, I could, but that would give us away. Yes, <laughs> Fuck. I bet an impasse. Yes, you are. Alright, if, nope, if only let's, somebody uh... had a charm of disguised self that they could have use oh wait i can cast that at will but <laughs> not at will but you know oh but i only have three uh first level spells oh i've only burned one. Oh, and it was on disguise self as well <laughs> oh no i'll uh i'll let them sleep for now well i am not uh in such dire need of material things that I will be rummaging through the first class cars, but if you desire to do so, you may bring any of your spoils to me to smuggle off this train, and uh, I can even sell them off to you. Although I will be taking a share of the profits, of course. And, uh... Would you happen to have a lock being set, Themis? Uh, um... Unfortunately, that is not something I tend to carry around with me. And I'll uh, look at Olrun. Yolrum. Yolrum. E O L R A M. Yeah. Yolrum. Would you happen to have a lock picking set by chance? I do not. Uh, how do I rememorize spells without taking drugs or a long rest? Fuck, true. Yeah, but Kato's not. No, she's not. Um, doesn't mean that the doors are locked. There was a true. lot of panic. 
can, yeah. You can just chance it. Yep, fuck it. I'll go check for anything unlocked. <laughs> Slim pickings, but... Um, shit, you're really good if anybody that. accosts you, uh... Kill them and don't die. Right. in my cabin. Ah, yes. For reasons. And then as will just mm. waggle up in his eyebrows a few times. Yudi will look completely confused, because he's never seen this before. <laughs> Reasons, Imply then. that you were having a three-way. Is that oh. clear enough? Yes, of course. Well then. Toodaloo, and then I'll walk out the door. <laughs> All right. uh, I would like to guess, investigate further of what happened on this train. I'm going to go further up the car and see if I can find an attendant to speak to. Okay. Um... How long has it been? Has it been since we slept? It's been a while, actually, hasn't it? Because it was nighttime when you did that. Mm. And then we spent a while in the Feywilds. So Themis will just go into a trance after um, setting a few potions to test. Oh, well, we can discuss that later. It doesn't need to be discussed of now. Of course. Alright. I'm gonna go take this. Did you lock your room? Um, I... Well, I was probably in my room when the bomb went off, so I probably locked it, yeah, because I was, you okay. know, had to try to figure out what right. potion this did me, so. Alright, so Raugham's room is unfortunately locked, so you can't really steal anything from him, unless you want to try and pick it. Uh. Right. Not that I have anything to steal, anyway. <laughs> well, uh, you don't it's important to be thorough. And you will have... You'll work your way up the up the cars. You will come across a total. Well, you will come across one that's unlocked. You're gonna go into it. Oh yes. Right. Well, so you enter into it. It's very nicely appointed. Everything in here looks nice. Um, it's all very obviously dwarven, and it seems to be part of the train, part of the room. <laughs> if you think silverware is low value, then I do. Then you might think that this is also lower value. Although, okay. You know, take a look. There is some jewelry. There is some finery. Uh, clothing wise, it's in, it's in a closet. There's a traveling, a traveling trunk, a steamer trunk. That is the part of the foot of the bed. And there is, and there are, there's a stack of uh, three books. That books. Are, that are bound with a belt, okay? Big books. Also, what jewelry was there? Uh, there's a necklace with a uh, locket on it that looks like it's, that has been intricately carved, it looks like it's silver. Chain and all, chain and all. Yeah, not interested in that. There are there are a few rings, and um, there are a pair of earrings that are sitting on the small desk that's in the car. Yeah, okay, I don't care about the jewelry. What what, what are the books about? <laughs> okay. okay. One is uh, a dime store, store romance, romance novel. novel. With some, okay. with, with some, some hunky hunk, hunk on, on the front, front. With, with some whatever damsel in distress looking chick. chick. <clears throat> there is another one on uh, history, history of dwarven society. Copying that. Mm -hmm. okay. There okay. is also one on. Uh, it's basically Illusions 101. I'm taking that too. Okay. And the last one 
will. Last one will be a, uh, a a rundown of the empire. The uh, empire. Less interested in that. Right. Yeah. So moving up, there are a few more locked doors. You get to almost the front, almost like the one of the front two cars. You can see out of the window. Well, you, no, you can't see out the window, can you? Because it's all so. You get to the front two cars of the first class, and there's a room that smells very strongly of. Of musk wood and that uh, and that slight mothball scent to it. <clears throat> it is unlocked, though. Uh, yeah, let's go so in. You can go ahead and enter it. I do. Uh, uh, yes. <laughs> so entering it, it it's kind of reminiscent of Themis's room. There are bottles and vials and books and burners and all sorts of uh, more intellectual items i suppose uh looks like there's an armillary there, there there's quite the uh looks like somebody looks like somebody chose to live here or something and they're like a polymath what are the books <laughs> right i am i am a very single mind when it comes to this right of course. Uh, so there are quite a few. It looks like textbooks that are open that are that are on the uh, desk. One of them has to do with oh what uh, I don't want to say invocation. Hold on, let me look at the schools real quick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I might as well just say you're taking it because we all know that you are. I mean, <laughs> I just need to. Uh... As a player, I feel like I've stolen a lot of books at this campaign. <laughs> Transmutation. Trans okay, yeah. There is a an there's another book that looks more like a personal journal. Uh, Can I quickly thumb through a few pages just to get a get a kind of, of feel of who of the, the owner is? Of the transmutation one or the of one? the journal. <clears throat> okay, sure. You go through a lot of you go th you thumb through a few pages. A lot of them are. Uh, what language there, is there, it? There are some sketches. It's in. It'll be. It's in common. Okay. Just being sure. Uh, yes. Uh, so most of it, I should say, not all of it. There's there's some other scribbles in other languages, but anyways. So there are a, a, a quite a few sketches. Uh, some of which are uh, of what you see, like on the left page, it'll be a hand, and then on the right side, it'll be a decayed hand. And there will be partial equations, there will be uh, not graphs per se, but uh, there will be uh, ratios, I suppose, uh, for like components and, and liquids. And, and how much to add for such and such concoction and all that sort of stuff. It's it's very much a, a work in progress, jot things down sort of journal for when you are experimenting and working <clears throat> for a for, for whatever you're trying to accomplish. It's it's like a record of that. You can see that weird question. Yes. Could I kind of figure out what the spell he's trying to make is kind of trying to do? No, I can't. Never mind. No. It's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty advanced stuff. It's pretty heavy. Yeah. Okay, no, I'll just take the uh, transmutation book and, <clears throat> and slowly dip. Slowly dip. Okay. That, th those are the two rooms that are the easiest to access. Um, you do see when you're in the second room, uh, there are there's there's a platform, and there's a watering tower, and you look down and there's people milling about a lot, quite a few people, 
because it's most of the train. Uh, looks like there is a, a pond, an underground pond. You see Ragam out there. Uh, some people are having a splash, having a swim, <clears throat> that sort of thing. Wonderful. Yes. I'll uh, slowly make my way out and reconnect with Ragam. Okay. And so you will head on out of the train to the open underground cavern. All right. So, James, you're going to go up and find an attendant who will tell you pretty much the same thing that was told to Ragam. Is there any thing uh specific or uh, did you want can to... we repeat what was specifically said to ragum <laughs> no i cannot because i don't remember what i said uh, well, so shit. the engine pretty much exploded not not well not not completely and totally it's not like ruined or anything because it was made by dwarves but uh they shut it down to prevent any sort of further damage they pretty much limped into the this Station, which is Vlocks and Excavations. It's a predominantly dwarven archaeology site. Or I should say it's run... It's an archaeology site run by dwarves, I should say. It's not about dwarves. But, um... <clears throat> they have called in a mage, an engineer, who teleported down there to see what's wrong with the engine, and they've teleported back to the city to get uh, parts and repairs done to it and, and they're, they, they still have to flush the engine all that sort of stuff so they're gonna it's gonna be another few hours before they get back underway uh, they tell you that there was a problem with there was a problem with the engine at the same time it seemed to create this large purple haze mist gas sort of thing that just everybody kind of freaked out some people are saying that people are now missing and some people are just generally concerned that there's at the very least there's incompetence or at the very worst there's some sort of magic afoot <clears throat> did they notice how the people changed because of this purple haze yeah like... people's skin colors changed and that started to freak out a lot of the passengers it was uh it was it was, a, it was a challenge to restore order, that's for sure. But eventually it subsided of its own accord. Who knows why, but... Uh, Can I ask where the passengers were taken? The That were affected? Uh, well, that was pretty much everybody on the train. <laughs> so uh, they, were, they made it into this stop, and the majority of passengers have gone off board to uh, stretch their legs, rest, and and just collect themselves while the while the engine is trying to be is going to be repaired. Uh, there's not a whole lot of sense in sitting in a train if it's not going to move when you could be more comfortable outside, usually. Uh, so mo most people have opted to go out and stretch their legs, maybe look at the uh, archaeology site a little bit. To go for a little bit of a swim, there's a small pool that they pump the water tower water out of. Uh, <clears throat> is there a way for me to easily get out? Yes, you can just go up to the first or the second first class cars that are right behind the tender and or a coal car. And that'll take you right on the platform. Station's right there. You can just go through the station and you'll be out. The well, station's off to the side, really. It's not like a proper train station, but uh, there's a station off to the side. And then you can walk out and there'll be a pool, like a couple hundred feet to your, over to your right. And then if you follow the path, uh, you'll, you'll, get, you'll eventually reach your way to the excavations. Which exit did Ragam take? Chili, which, which, which exit did you, did you take? Did you go to the first car or did you just get out of the second car? Or are you asleep? Did you leave? Oh. Hi, Chili. Or you could ask Failure, failure too. Because uh, he went out the same one. Yeah. Closest, okay, so the second car. So probably the second car. Yeah. Um... 
Can I go back and exit out of the coal car? Well, the coal car is in front of the first class cars. Or, yeah, and head that way and, and exit. Passengers really aren't allowed there. You can probably sneak out there if you wanted to. Uh, all right, so you'll, you'll head out. So it's just Dennis and everyone else has exited the train. So Raugum, full circle. Actually, that's a good spot to stop because it's 2.30 two thir two thir in the morning. All right, so we stop in there? Yes. yes. We'll, we'll pick, pick up on Wednesday, Wednesday at the usual time. Indeed. Which is what? An hour earlier than tonight. So okay. 8.30. 8 for you. Okay. If you can't make it, just let us know. That's all we ask. Uh, wait, wait, he's wait, 8.30. 8 it's Where it's 7.30 normally for us. Uh, uh, he's two hours. hours. So I said Two hours. I thought he was yeah. same time zone as it, me. It's 12.30 right now. Yeah, oh. Yeah, yeah, so yeah you're an hour ahead of me. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, yeah so then... Who was in Utah? Me. You're in yeah, Utah? Wait, yeah. you're, you're where those model- are you by those monoliths that randomly showed up? <laughs> the monolith in the, in, the mat, in the middle of he's the desert. so, so not even close to there. there. He, he doesn't even, even know, know about him. He's, 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 an, he's an ex Mormon. He's, he's, he's not, not allowed to know about this. <laughs> you go on a bed failure? I mean, I could. <laughs> I mean, are you? The other choice. Play League. <laughs> I'd rather not hate myself. Right I would like to hate myself. That's hot. Isn't it? There you go. Well, well whatever, whatever you kids, kids do, do, I am going to bed. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.